McClunky. Hey, McClunky. It didn't work. Wow, it's on four. No, <laughs> joking. I'm God joking. damn it! If it switches on me, folks, I'm gonna be like, "Well, I have recordings this time." How goes it, everybody? We're back with Terrifying Territories of Roros. Session 19, almost to 20. Holy crap. Kaz, gifted tier 1 subs to McBluff. You're a bean, Kaz. We love you. Mwah. Mwah. Babes in Mwah. chat, let's fucking go. Been like a month, yo. I think it has. I am in chat, Sam. You're right. Oh, shush. So, since it's been like a month, yeah, we're probably going to need a good recap. Uh, mm-hmm. All right. So basically, Fuego becomes it. God. <laughs> yeah, I he becomes the big frog god. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so with Rannis, his loyal queen. Yeah, there you go. Reese gets resurrected as an un. Hey, big Tilly. Un... Yo, Tilly. As an Yo, un. Uh, Tilly. What's... what's what's the word? For... What's the word for like when like you un mind flyer a person? Unceremorphize. Is it really? She's been on I mean, I she also became I'm my... pulling that out of my ass, but like. Well, you know what? It, I you could have fooled me. I mean, ceramorphosis yeah, she... is like turning into it. So. Ah, uh, so yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Wait, wait yeah, she died last. <laughs> well, she? yeah, and like I resurrect her on ceramorphosis, and then she also becomes believe, my queen. I can't just believe like Reese you die. That's crazy. And then I know, like you fucking <laughs> asshole. Why right do you up, fucking? Right? Why? Right after your your fucking romantic relationship was blocked. Exactly, look, we had a cute ass fucking day, and he goes and kills her. She's dead. I was giving. I want to point out. I was giving signs. I was giving very plain signs. I think even mm-hmm. AJ at one point said, at one point, she's going through seromorphosis. No one acted on anything. <laughs> well, I like. I thought like that's some weird like. Hormonal <laughs> shit that you have in your setting or something happened. No, like I do immediately. Vix, there's no situation. Every time you pop into a stream with all of us, there's we're gonna be swearing at each other. No doubt. I'm gonna get angry. No, Sam killed my girlfriend. Let well, she let her die. You the, let her the, die, dude. You let only, her die. The <laughs> only shipping we're allowed in this campaign is Ranis and Fuego. Yes. And Tantrum and Spoon. Sorry, Evic and Fuego. Evic and oh, you changed his name too. Hello, hello, Makilovix. I still can't believe you killed her, bastard. Again, again, <laughs> again. You could have done something about it. I don't want to be that guy. Is, oh, don't give me that bullshit. Like oh, I'm you over were here. All the signs. Your your girl was was sick and hurting, and you just ignored it. I I dressed up in a pre dress for her, and I we go on a date. We have we bring out yeah, child. Me, I would chop her child. Off, off immediately. Yeah, anyway, but if, if if on that guys. date on that date with her the whole time she was her eye was twitching up a storm, and you were like, I don't know. You're like, oh, that's so cute. She were like, oh that's man, stress. that must be a lot of stress. Yeah, it might be. A lot yes, of, might be a lot <laughs> of stress from the the thing in her brain. Yeah. When I'm stressed, my eye twitches. <laughs> <laughs> also, no worries, no worries, Mac. Oh, also, Tilly, I am very upset. My wife. Now, my other wife is a big fucking snake man. Look at him. What's wrong with that? Well, actually, right Friends. now, right now he's a crocodile. Sorry, I think so. Oh, sorry, he's he's a big crocodile. Yes, I'm a big old crocky crocky dilly do. Let's go. Was I in the? Did I get th- I get thrown in the air and like I'm trying to look? What am I? Uh, you're just chilling out on the I... beach right now for the most part because you were. I'm yeah. here ready to have a kaiju fight with a big fish ag- uh, again. I had my King Kong moment. Now it's time for my Godzilla m- moment. Uh, while were they? Uh, while they were in Nilbog's Hob, they also encountered Kian, as like the snake, uh, which is Evix, like kind of a, a person from Evix's past. So. Uh, she has joined them on the on the group now, and <laughs> they decided to go to Amity Beach because there's been some like historical it's or potentially historical nerves. events happening there. Sure, that she wants to go to record, and so they they went here, met a bunch of dude bros and dude chicks. I know this not <laughs> you think, uh, and stopped a crab attack on the beach. Uh, we do believe you, Kaz. <laughs> it's just this moment was a lot. Of, yeah, she literally was in a mind flare tube, dude. <laughs> in my defense, Sam. In my defense, I thought when we when we emptied her out of the tube, she was fine. Uh, 
Uh, I knew the okay. second sound. Sta- the second sound was like her eyes started twitching. I'm like, she's fucking dying. <laughs> she, well, she wasn't dying necessarily, but uh, I mean, well, we'd kill her, you know? Because well, I thought I gave decent hints. Because I thought that like you did. I I I got the hints. Sam. <laughs> there were Jeez, people. Yeah. There were people in the other tubes that you saw as people, and then they came out as proper mind flares. She just didn't. I'm get the sorry, full Sam. I I don't have ten years of knowledge as a DM. I <laughs> understand the entire fucking lore of the game. I, I hey man, this campaign's the first time I'm properly is. playing. I don't know what, what you want from me, man. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Anyway, five minutes rule exactly like with our grand just, meta knowledge. So- we're suspicious of everything. Exactly, McBluff. Be afraid of things. Can't believe this. The five minute rule for the mind flare tube. She's still good. <laughs> exactly. She was. I'm a resur. I'm a cleric. I'm gonna get to like fucking level whatever the fuck it is. I'm resurrect her. And you're gonna resurrect her and then have your yeah. happily ever after with your one leg. Exactly. Girlfriend. And she's gonna Wait, come what? back up as a mind flare when she has that work. I don't understand. No, no, true resurrection is in her true form. Oh, her true form, okay. Alright, anyway, let's start. Okay, well, and then she's on, gonna kiss me and I'm gonna turn into a prince. Because I'm a frog. Oh, uh, and... What the fuck is bomber balls? Oh, excuse me? Oh yeah, shit, you guys can see that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get rid of that, hold on. Don't, don't spoil yourself, don't spoil yourself just yet. <laughs> Oh my god, are we going to go in this ship and it's got, oh, it's got a poon and everything too? I know, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Ah, uh, let's go. Sorry, that was me moving it. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting ahead of yourself, you're getting ahead of yourself. I'm excited, I can't, like, I, I don't want a meta game or anything, but like, I've got to find a really big fishing pole soon. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not meta game. I saw it. I know what, what. <laughs> I'm on a high <laughs> alert ready to fight this giant fish as a giant <laughs> alligator. Yeah, so, like, <laughs> To catch us all up, yeah, they were at the beach, and the crab attack happened, and then once the crab attack stopped, a giant shark serpent, I'll pull it up for you all over here so you can remember what it looked like, a giant, like, shark serpent swam by, and uh, that's where we ended the Oh, we need, to, we need to fix up the clip, uh, the, the, the clip fe- fe- uh, feature again. Uh, mm-hmm. also, Sam groaning as if he's got to do that. <laughs> well, I mean, like... <laughs> that's why we have you. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> you never let me do anything, man. <sighs> Don't go acting like that. You're the one like, oh, Kaz, can you help me? Or Kazzy Wazzy, please help me. I'm like, yeah, I, ask, I ask you for help, and then you just oh, do I'm it. Sorry, no, 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 sorry. Let, let me, let me, let me, uh, how you actually do it. Kaz, I love you. Can you help a roll 20 for a second? <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> let's do it. Sorry, wrong, all right, let's wrong. stop playing. Let's stop playing. All right. Let me get the music rolling. <clears throat> music provided by Josh Brolin. Fame actor. Don't say that. Josh. Don't say that. It's misinformation. All right. So, as hi, as you all uh, get back to your your feet from this fight with the the, the crabs, uh, and you specifically, Evic, you feel like the water push against you and move you a little bit in, in your crocodile form uh, as as this giant serpent moves past you. Oh, this is way bigger than me. Oh, my God. <coughs> and in so it swoops back f- around this way to the uh, to the west. Is there anything you'd like to do after that? I'm going to... It goes to the west? Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's swam back over here now, yeah. All right, my, in, my, in my dumb crocodile brain, I'm going to swim after it. Okay. How fast can I... One second. How fast can a giant crocodile swim? Give me, give me, give me five seconds. It's okay, you got time. Tantrum and Fuego, what do you guys want to do? All right, I'm on, I'm I am. Um, do I, do I see it? Feet. 50 feet. Let me just. Tan- did, did, did I, did I see, did I see it happen? Uh, I don't know, did I see a fin or something? Perception for me. Oh, I doubt he does, so he's a giant crocodile right now. I don't think he's in a talking mood. Hmm. He's <laughs> quite snappy. Boo! Fucking can't believe this. 
Oh, by the way, uh, if we're not in initiative, I'd like to give uh, Rannis. Um, what's the one? Eye of the Night. Okay. No, not Eye of the Night, sorry. Vigilant Blessing, where you get advantage on this initiative roll. Okay, uh, yeah, we have not rolled initiative yet. We're uh, probably going to wait on that front uh, for a minute here or so. I'm going to use my spirit weapon and my. Uh, this fish up immediately. Is my spirit weapon, my moonbeam, still intact? By the way, as well. It, it would, I would say it would be still in because, like, this is literally right <coughs> after last session. So, cool. All right, I'm gonna just keep an eye out on the waters and, like, what did my twelve get? With that perception, you notice, like, for the ripples of uh, Evic's crocod crocodilian form, like, sh moving in the water towards this direction. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put. All right, so I'm gonna. Pull my spirit weapon back towards me, and I'm gonna turn it into a fishing pole. Okay. Oh my god. And I'm just like staying alert on the waters. And I'm gonna like run over here, holding my uh, spiritual fishing pole. Uh, as you do that, the uh, the half orc. Uh, like fisherman on the on the docks looks at you and says, "You and the elephant." Yes. Are, are you willing to get on my ship? Is it a fishing ship or boat? Uh, <laughs> you, it, it, it'd be just that. Perfect. <laughs> Tantrum. Come, we're going. <laughs> it'd be just that. Uh, yeah. Let's let's hop aboard, Flores. Uh, and uh, behind you, Kian also like, like follows, not really knowing what to do, not really knowing where, what really is happening with with Evic at this time. But she's uh, coming behind you guys. We go invent Stardew Valley fishing <laughs> mechanics in real life. All right. One what can I say? Second. Thanks for the clip, McBuff. McBuff, that's mm -hmm. perfect. Yeah, Thank you McBuff. so much. Oh fuck! I close everything. Uh, and uh, he looks at you and says, uh, Arr, where be your other friend? In the water. The, uh, as yeah, he says is. that, I'm gonna, I'm, like, unintentionally just, like, jump out of the water and, like, splash back down <laughs> in the giant alligator. Arr, that'd be a second problem over there! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we've been playing Sea of Thieves recently. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, I tell you what, the Sea of Thieves lately is, is gonna help a lot for this next part, for sure. Oh, mm. boy. Dude, we've been, we've been, we can ru been running like butter on on a, on a hot pan oh, no, yeah. in, in Sea of Thieves. We've been doing really well. <laughs> yeah, like we're gonna we're gonna do mighty fine. All right, get aboard. We got to go hunt a crocodile and now a serpent. <laughs> Don't worry about the crocodile. It's fine. All right, so I will take all of us here. One second. All right. Oh, can and you... also my snake is still my active. Oh, God. Let me know if you guys... Uh, can you see? Yeah. We can see, but I think we also see something else, Sam, in the... As a parish redeemed, I believe. The fuck does that mean? What was this one? I forget what I, forget what I believe. This is. one was, I believe, uh... It's Benjamin may have been... Uh, let me send you oh, the... Oh, yeah. The eagle. Yeah, Benjamin had... With Benjamin. <laughs> mm. Benjamin had been taken by a giant crow many sessions ago, but we believe... Some say he's still being carried away to this day. That's what the description is. What does that mean, though? Like, what do we have to do with that again? I forget. I mean, is, is Benjamin in the sky? Do we see him? I believe Benjamin's still there. Uh, as you're setting sail, Fuego, uh, roll me perception. <laughs> Let me just pull up my sheet. Why am I crying? We've only just died. <laughs> 14. Uh, in the skies to the west, you see a, a, a bird kind of flying awkwardly. And you assume that might be the crow that, that grabbed Benjamin. I just mutter to myself, I believe. And then I give a little prayer. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to keep AJ on this one. Mm -hmm. And then for you, how do I how do I take you guys over there again? I grab your name and then yeah, you grab. Um, I think he's, I'm gonna just pull us over. And then my shadow snake as well. 
about to move that that uh, guy around. Yeah, I think you got that one. Yeah. One second, guys. It just says speed 40 feet, so I don't think that's a swimming speed. He's just gonna be trudging along real slow. Hey, look at this boat. I uh, Fago would be with us as well, so I'm gonna go. Oh, shit. Uh, I'll bring, I'll bring Fago. And would I still see my moonbeam? Because I would, if I could, I'd be dragging it along with us. Oh, absolutely, then, yeah. Take your moonbeam with you if you would like. Like, I just like, it's as if like I'm just using the force and dragging this beam through the water. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you pretty much jump aboard and you notice, uh, these, these two are cannons. Uh, and these four are harpoons. Like, these, uh, four things in the front. This middle area is like a compartment filled with fish and crabs. Um, can I do something? No. <laughs> Stop. Hold on, I, I want to I try something. It's going to be magical. Make up shit right now. Make up shit. Can I rip off... He's shitting. No. Oh. No, I want to rip off one of the harpoons and, like, tie the wither spoon <clears throat> in its face. <laughs> Ch uh, I... go, go, uh, go for, like, a... Uh... You're shitting also. Are you shitting? Is it, did, oh. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> Sam, also on this other uh, screen, I also need Evic and Shadow Snake here. Okay, one second. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to also put you down there as your own entity. You're going to only take up, like... Oh, you can still take up four scores. You're good. Never mind. I think you got the sizes wrong, Sam. What do you mean? Because the ships were huge. The ship and the fish were huge, which means they're uh, they were uh, four by four, weren't they? Yeah, but this is like th this this whole thing yeah. scale is off too, because every right. square here is, I think, what I said is, yeah, I was getting to that part too. Uh, each square is fifty feet of uh, here. Each square is fifty feet. Yeah, each square is fifty feet. Holy fuck! I'm but huge. Then. Uh, yeah, so you guys should also be able to see, uh, for those of you on the boat, you should be able to see the boat's sheet. I do, yeah. Uh, and that will be how you do attacks, and we will keep track of the, of the health and stuff that way. Uh, and yeah, so if everyone could roll initiative for me. Yep. Alright. Oh, bottomless. And I have advantage on that? Yep. Yep. Oh, bottomless. Oof. <laughs> 15. 13. Why is the counter not doing it? I don't know. You didn't turn it on when we clicked uh, in the it show. Dangus. Oh, well, shit. <clears throat> I gotcha. Oh. oh, there we go. Well, I need whoa, the 15. Holy crap. There, I changed it for you. Apparently, I could do that. <laughs> Where are these old ones coming from, even? I didn't even roll these. Uh, that's that's my on your screen. Jesus. That's my last session. Okay, nine. That's my last uh, session, Sam. I'm up. It is clean. All right. Okay. I think we get it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, guys. Jeez. What? I'm just. That's <laughs> it. Where did I put my other G20? That's kind of fucking frustrating, actually. <laughs> Is it a white one that you roll for it, for that? No, I have like I have a red one and a blue one that I usually keep up here. Is this Jaws now? Yep. This, this is what we're referencing here, Jaws. Am I can't wait to it's the like, Jurassic Park area. It's Amity Amity Island in Jaws. Yeah. I love uh, I love the the part where uh, Godzilla came in and messed with up messed up Jaws. Yeah, my favorite. Yeah. That was the great part in the third movie. Yeah, it's iconic. Especially that part where like he hits the glass too. Yeah, that part. That part is I literally I, I woke up one day from TV being on all night to that part of that movie <laughs> when I was like four and I was like, "What is this?" But yeah, <laughs> um, to start us off, we got Rannis or I guess Evic. Yeah, 
Uh, you are just swimming alongside the boat, and what you yep. see right now, pretty much, and feel uh, ahead of you is, like, a lot of people in the water and a lot of vibrations. Uh, My nose is vibrating. Yeah, like, you're very tension. aware <laughs> of what's going on here. But what would you like to do first? I would like to is get it? closer. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, so, so, uh, sorry, sorry, AJ. Each, each of these squares is, is like, 50 feet. Oh, fuck, right. Bam. It's gonna take for fucking ever, then. Yeah. Bam. And that's all I can do. Alright, uh, Fuego. Yes. Your turn. Uh, <clears throat> actually, okay, wait. As, uh, you guys get on the boat and Quinlan pretty much asks, like, I'm gonna need you guys to do certain things. Like, can anyone take the wheel? Does anyone want to be on the weapons? What do you? What do you? What are you guys good at? I am good at. I already attached the wither spoon to the harpoon, so I'm taking <laughs> over the guns. All right, okay, he's made I'm his choice. Like ca <laughs> <We're> catching fish. <laughs> <laughs> right. yeah, he's the one that fought a lobster. Fishing. Yeah, I fought a giant lobster. Like I. Is a regular sized yeah. lobster. Okay, you no, better be. Huge. You better be good on those guns, then, elephant. And he like goes over and gets. Our on the IV, wheel. somewhat. Wait, uh, why can't you be on the wheel? Uh, he he goes to the wheel. That's what he's doing. I was gonna say like, why why do you need us to be like we're not? Well, he wants I'm you to go do like other other th the other things on the boat and stuff. Yeah, if you if you command me and I'll do it, but like, at the same time I'm a, uh, I'm gonna be trying to catch that bitch. And you're, gonna be, uh, you're gonna be fishing. Yeah, I'm just gonna run, kind of run to the front. Uh, yeah, if you can, uh, you can use your your movement speed to get there. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like carrying my giant fishing pole with me. That's like glowing ethereal light. Okay. Tantrum, your turn. Fagal's following. Look, Fagal's like bait on my uh, on the hook. Oh, just oh. waving around in the air. Where is the fish right now? He's like. Down here, right? Uh, the fish is up to the northwest from you guys. So, like, over, over here, then. Oh, shit. Okay, actually, it shouldn't be this far. Realistically, it is, like, right here. Yeah, uh, I wish I could, I wish I could like, dual monitor you guys on this. Like, is there a way I can just, like... Yeah. I'm gonna bring you over here. Pour for a some balls. Okay. And each of, these, okay each of these squares is 50 feet, and the harpoon gun on the ship can shoot. How fucking fast did this fish move? Uh, this this fast fish enough. this fish has a a lot of it's, it's built for the water. I hope so. I mean, so's an alligator. <laughs> yeah, but you're not. You I can only move 50. Hmm. I don't know, Sam. Something don't add up here. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> like, I'm sorry that that kind of thing sucks. Movement speed is kind of shit. Meh. Nah. It happens. Alright, uh, Connor, what, uh, what would you like to do again? Sorry. I'm going to. How far do the harpoons go? You never, you never said it. Oh, okay. Uh, you can actually look. You can look into the uh, the harp. You should be able to look at the ship too, Connor. The. Uh... It'll only just tell me the bio and info, but like it won't like open anything. I could just see the image. What? We go to go Ooh. to character sheet. You don't see that? All I see is Tolbert and Joshua. Is it character sheets for the ship or? No. It's just Quinn, this. look in NPC. It brings you the ship, but it only shows me the picture. All right, I'll fix up for you. Yeah, that toy. All right, I'll fix it. Uh, if you close it and reopen it, you should it should be all good now. There we go. Okay. Yeah, uh, it has a range of fifty feet, so you should be able to hit it. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna shoot a harpoon over there. Uh, what won't work? Oh, you did it like 50 times. Oh, shit, sorry. 
Oh, shit, I was in the wrong thing. My bad. Go with the first one. Okay, oh. uh, that 18 hits, yeah. Hell yeah! Is Let's it locked go. into him? Yeah, so with, with what the harpoon gun does, it, uh, it should say, actually, under there. Uh, oh, God. Hmm. Hold on. Uh, yeah, on a hit, the target loses movement speed, and the ship is dragged 50 feet behind the target until the harpoon gets dislodged. Hell so yeah. Now, now the ship is in, like, is in drag speed with it. So if this thing moves, no matter what, like, the ship will be pulled. Yes! Let's fucking go! Alright, so speaking of which... Uh, also, did you roll damage on that? Uh, if you click attack on it, it should roll damage. Eleven piercing. Is that what happens when you click attack on that? Oh, it is. Yeah. It's weird. Okay. All right. Yeah, you shoot the this harpoon into the back of it, and you hear like from under the water a shrill screech, like pierce through, and uh, the ship starts to just tug along with it. As uh, what is the sound bite for this shark? Like, what does it sound like? Oh my god! <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like. I'm trying nash, to think nash, of the, nash, cer nash. the certain like monster noise in Star Wars that I'm thinking. Oh, of. I thought you were just gonna be like Family Guy. I was like, I'm gonna eat you all. <laughs> like, no, what not, mean, at all. The not at all. What I was thinking. The one your boy rides. That's the only. That's the only animal I like from Star Wars. That I can't think about. One Obi Wan. You haven't even seen Star Wars, dude. What are you talking about? Shut your mouth! I'll slap you. All right. Next, it is Quinlan's turn. As he like starts to yoink the wheel and like. Because like they literally had to like start the ship up properly. Like this is not like a like a sailboat. This is like a one with an engine Ooh. and shit. So it's chugging along and gets pulled even closer. Also, I'm sorry. I felt I was aggressive just then. No, no, no. <laughs> and he's he screams back to you. Let should give you a better shot, lads. Thank you, Evic. Your turn. All right, have fun, everyone. Uh, if we want, we can give we we can give the the, uh, the crocodile like a hundred feet movement or some shit like that for this one. All right, good luck, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Fuego, your turn. <laughs> I don't All know right. what else you want me to do. Give me a second. I can pull it at 60 feet. So, like, this, my moonbeam is going. It's just trailing along behind us. It's, it's gone there. Just before the poon, I think. And, like, I'm just dragging it across, and then, like, I'm running. Ooh, do we know what side the, uh, the beast is on? Yeah, you're coming up on it over here. Uh, this side? This, yeah, the uh, harpoon has, has lodged into it, yeah. Perfect. All right, I'm. I swing my uh, my reed back um, with Fagal hooked onto the hook as bait. I launch with as much strength and skill and precision as I physically can. By the way, Sam, I have advantage on uh, heart, on uh, fishing. Oh, perfect! Because my boy has harvest the water. All right, go for so it. How do I roll this? Isn't there just like a, like the fishing skill thing, or? No, I haven't got like a proficiency for it or anything. I would say like dexterity or wisdom. I mean, like it's one of the two for fishing. I'd say. I would like dexterity, please. Go for it. And I'm proficient in it. Yep. Yep. Buff. All right, get advantage on that. Woohoo! Hopefully Woohoo. that works. That was meant to say, wait. That isn't a dexterity roll. That's actually fishing, but like it's, it's tricky. Oh, let's go! <laughs> 20 sound. You, th you throw, or you cast, like, your, your fagel fishing rod, and it, uh, it, like, lands so perfectly into the water that. The, the you can you sense it with Hello Crimson 
Uh, you sense it in, in the way that the harpoon drags that the the, the mighty creature is a, is lured into whatever you've casted. Perfect. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a hand in a bit, maybe, when we reel this sucker in. One second. And I'm I'm just ready. I forgot to do this. That's a fucking big fuck up mistake. Okay, next it is the Jaws' turn. The Jaws. The Jaws of Amity. As it's now being lured by, back to the sort of front area of the ship where you've casted the lure. Uh, you get a bite. Uh, oh can you roll a strength saving throw for me, please? Would I get advantage on that because of my harvest water? I'll say yes because I think that's all fishing shit, right? Yeah. Let's go for it. Perfect. Strength table or just straight sand? Strength. A uh, strength saving throw. Perfect. Hey, hey, Floofy Microwave is <laughs> ready with a party of six. Thanks for the raid, oh, guys. Shit, yo. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Hiya. How are you guys doing? Leroy Jenkins. I do be like that right now. Sucking on schnitzel just sent a pissing duck? What is that? Oh, goodness. I love that, but what the hell? I love it. <laughs> It's a chicken. Is it? I thought it was a duck. This is Conti, Conti bin chicken. Chicken. I love it. <laughs> we hire, uh, hire Jackal and hire Sucking Schnitzel and also thank you for the raid, Fluffy. What were y'all saying? I'm just... Yee. I'm trying to catch a big fish. Well, a big shark. Yeah, they, we just started into the session today and uh, <laughs> right now we're dealing with a mighty serpent shark. Well, welcome to the biggest catch. On uh, I'm your host Fuego, and I'm catching a big ass shark right now. You feel you you feel like w once this thing bites onto the the bait, it it's pulling so hard, but you stand strong with your gooey little feet on on the the, <laughs> the ship the ship deck. Tantrum, your turn. All right, um, I'm going to like since I have the hook in there. Uh, the harpoon. I'm gonna grab the wither spoon and I'm gonna dangle it over the rope and I'm gonna like jack sparrow my shit across the rope to like grab onto the fish. Like I'm gonna jump onto this thing. All right, roll like a dexterity check for me. All right, all right. Um, We're all fucking insane. We've got a fucking crocodile. We've got a fucking. <laughs> We got an elephant that's trying to surf the shark. Oh, dirty check? And I'm yeah. trying to catch it. Yeah. Uh, b -b <laughs> yeah, you managed to to pretty much do what you're saying. You hook on to the top of, of, of the uh, the harpoon guns. Uh, or not the. You, you know, you've managed to zip line pretty much. Yeah, like, like, like holding the wither spoon up, up and like using it as like a. As like a zip line, pretty much over to it, and like I'm stabbing like the spoon into it when I when I get close enough. Uh, by the time you get there, roll me a. Uh... I guess that would be another dexterity, but I don't want to do that to you necessarily again. Uh... Yeah, roll me another dexterity. I, uh, if it, uh, let's go with that one, let's just do it. Another dexterity. Another dexterity. <laughs> Fuck, man. Yes. yes. And oh. once you once you're done at, at the end of the zipline, you manage to land onto the shark uh, as it's it, it's it's kind of close to the end the the top of the water at this point. You're definitely like it could go down any second would be a problem, but uh, you lodge yourself in there with the witherspoon, and uh, I won't allow you to make an attack this turn, but you're on there now. Hell yeah! That's fucking awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. As you do that, you just hear Quinlan uh, scream at you. Arr, what are you doing, you mad lad? We need you on the ship. He's like that. Don't worry about him. Just, just, don't worry. Don't, don't, don't think about it. Just, just focus also, on what you're doing. So I'm imagining like ziplining all the way over there with like the Sinbad Legend of the Seven Seas music. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like that would be perfect. 
Mm. Okay, and that, like, gets as far as we can get. Small, one second. Yeah, and so with that, <laughs> like, he, he sees that and starts to drag the boat this way. Killing it. Alright. Evic, your turn. Right, you smell second. blood in the water to your west. Uh it's like a harpoon is pierced and <laughs> you 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 can smell and know that uh, the shitty smell of tantrum has entered the water a little bit. Hey. Fuego. Oh, sorry, me? Yeah. All right. So I'm there at the front. <laughs> where, where am I? Let's see. I gotta move myself over to the other one. I'd imagine, like, I'm, like, just, like... Like, I've been pulled to the front. Uh, by the, um... By the what's it called? And I got my legs are just, like, propped against the, like, front of the ship as I'm, like, just pushing me back as I'm trying to reel it in. So what do I do to reel in? Uh, I would say roll strength again. Before. Strength. 17. 17, yeah, like, this thing is, is pulling so hard, but you're still managing to just hold on. It's, it, it's fighting you really hard, but... Uh, but you do... Ma the, the, it, and it seems that it's not really, like, doing anything to, like, bring it up right now, because it is just so big. But you're managing to actually like still hold on with the fishing rod, so. Mm. Would I be able to like hurt it? Because like it is still in the fishing rod is my spiritual weapon. I'm trying to weaken it. Almost like zap it, I guess. Or like like give like a radiant blast from within its like from where it's bit onto the bait. Does that make sense? I I would say so, yes, I guess. Like if that's the, the logic behind a spiritual weapon, then sure. Because like, it does, like, because I'm using my spiritual weapon as, like, the yeah the fishing rod, but, like, it also it does deal 1d8 plus force, 2 force damage. So I'm, like, I imagine, like, maybe, like, if it, like, gives, like, a little blast to, like, try to weaken it. Sure, absolutely. From within. Let's go with that, then, yeah. That isn't with advantage. That's, that was 6. Yeah, unfortunately, that does, that does not hit, then. Alright. Next, it is the, the Jaws' turn as... It thrashes around, feeling the, the mighty Loxodon on his back. And the harpoon in its side as well. Uh, unfortunately, it fails to thrash th free from the harpoon. And you are still on top of it, Tantrum. Fuck yeah. Your t it is now your turn. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna fucking... Let's go. Um, I am going to... Uh... Like, I'm gonna stab it. I'm gonna stab it with the wither spoon. Just <laughs> boom, stab it. I'm gonna, like, just spoon the fuck out of it. Fish is his eyes up. The menu, boys. Like, let's go. I don't like fish. Well, that, too fucking bad. That hits. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting all these good high scores. I'm also gonna stab it with knifey. Try and cut off like a chunk of its fin. Uh. <laughs> Both of those hit. <laughs> Roll damage. <laughs> Seven and Kill. nine. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Part of me hopes it pulls me under, but part of me also hopes it doesn't. Uh, well, going to pull you under. Which, uh, roll a dexterity, uh, or this is what we did last time, right? Dexterity saving throw, or what was it? Dexterity saving throw. Uh, dexterity saving throw for me, yeah. Or, oh. I mean, like, I guess I would, I'll allow you to, like, do a strength saving throw also, because you're just using also just your... 
Oh, I should have even one. <laughs> yeah, no. You, after doing these attacks, you are then, with the sheer force of all the movement happening and all the water, you're just flung backwards off of, off of the creature. Can I grab onto the harpoon? <laughs> uh, unf unfortunately, not with that nat one. No. Fuck. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to put you also over here, Connor. Mm hmm Oh, you're still over here. Fuck. <laughs> well, shit. You were, you were seeing this anyway. You are now in the water over here. Uh, right in between the crocodile and the, and the monster. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's the monster? All right, and Quinlan then... It is his turn as he yoinks the ship this way. Dragging along the beast with it. And now, uh, if I can actually get uh, a dexterity check from... I don't know how this is going to work necessarily. A dexterity saving throw from both Evic and Tantrum. I put my health in. I forget how much damage I took. Uh, dexterity saving throw? Yeah. Uh, that would be... Damn, that's what I wanted. to my roll. Oops. Uh, 15. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, you're both... All that happens for both of you is you're just pushed out of its way in a sense like this. Uh, but you take you take no damage. But it, it brushes past you. The current like just moves you away a little bit. Uh, Evic, it is your turn. I'm going to swim up to it and leap onto it and, and like bite down uh, and also thrash it with my tail at the same time. So we got the bite attack. Oh, that one's with a plus eight. So I don't think that hits. It's um, 12. Uh, 13. No, unfortunately that doesn't hit. Tail attack is with, uh, with a plus eight. That'd be 17. That hits. That one does it. Okay. So I thrash it with my tail. Plus five. That'll be 14 damage. Nice. Yeah, like, it, it, you go for a bite, and since it's being pulled away, like, you just miss because of the way that, like, it's awkwardly being pulled. Uh, also, as su succeeding on a strength saving throw, I'll be knocked prone. How's that going to work in water? I do not know, but <laughs> we'll go for it anyway, I guess. Oh, okay, well, it succeeds. Holy shit. Well, that's a one time to roll a fucking nat 20 like that. Yeah, oh, like, dang. it just doesn't get phased by that in, in that regard, but it does take damage. You visibly see it react to, like, the the tail swipe in a, in a damaging sense. All right. That's it. Hold on. Do. Next it is Fuego, your turn. Huh. What's the situation of me and my, uh... My reeling in. Uh, you and your reeling in. Well, collectively, with all the things that have happened, it seems like the reeling in has gotten a little bit easier. But I'm still gonna have to ask for a strength, uh, a strength uh, check. Gotcha. gotcha. Fuck. Uh, with Ooh. this, this time, finally, like it. it also, I'll allow you to still roll the spiritual damage weapon uh, or, yeah. or attack. But uh, you feel a little bit of give as. Your fishing rod and spiritual weapon combo. Uh, your your legs are just hanging onto the edge of the boat, as it's like in the last little bit of your fingers' grasp. You might lose it. All right. Is there anything I could do to like almost tighten my grasp, or like, like instead of attacking, could I maybe try and like grow, um, like? I'm trying, I'm trying to think. Is there anything I could use to, like... Is there anything nearby that I could use to, like, help me? Does that make sense? Or even, like, use as, like, a tool to keep keep my grip or, like, strengthen my grasp? I don't want to... I don't want to give you too many ideas, necessarily, because I don't want to, like, metagame, but uh, you... The harpoon above you could also... You could attach it to that, I guess, would be a thing. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Yeah, uh, I guess like I mean like I don't want to like put it in the harpoon because like I mean I'd lose my grip. But, like, well, almost you using just, it you like just grip the harpoon then, wouldn't you? I I don't know. 
That's weird. Yeah, but like then, like I'd let, like I'd let go of the spiritual weapon. And if that goes, that goes. Fair, fair. Oh shit! Oh my god, it's my spirit weapon. I can pull it back to me. So it doesn't matter. Well, there we go. Oh, that doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't matter. Like it's fine. All right, I'm gonna have a fake from within, dislatch as bait, and then like form um form my uh, a scythe, and then slash from within. Uh, that hits. Nice. Cool. Um, I have slasher, which means that like anything within, like when I uh, when I hit, um, its uh, speed is reduced by ten feet until the start of my next turn. So it takes five slashing. Okay. Got it. Yeah, from inside, it's just it, you see its its facial expression just change immediately to like a look of pain. Mm. <laughs> As his insides are being ripped up. We've got it. Um, and I'm going to keep, like, just pulling back, trying to reel it in as much as I can. Alright. Tantrum, I'm going to bring you back to this over here, and I'm going to show you where you are on the map here. So currently the boat is... It's still moving, but, like, you'd be able to catch up in, in this movement area right here. All right. I will go and climb aboard. Uh, I don't, I think you'd be able to just, like, get up, but uh, can I ask for a, uh... I guess that would... I, I'm going to say dexterity check. Because <laughs> you're, you're trying to climb up on the back right now, and uh, the the ladders are, are on on the side stuff, so... Uh, with that dexterity, like, you managed to just grab onto, like, the, the wood, uh, on the back, it's not really the most well-kept-up ship anyway, so, like, the boards are still kind of, like, loose, so yeah. you, you've, you managed to climb up using those anyway, so. Oh, yeah. But you're now back on the back of the boat. Wetter than hell, but you're back. Okay, elephants are always wet. I don't think that's true. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> not. Alright. It is the jaw's turn as it like thrashes again, uh, failing to dislodge the harpoon, but it turns its rage on you for its last attack, AJ. Who? Thirteen to hit that misses, right? Because you have oh, actually you no. Know, what's think? the alligators or what's the crocodiles? AC, sorry. It's not uh, uh, crocodile. It is not uh, crocodile. Uh, AC fourteen. Okay, does not hit. So it goes. For a snap at you and just misses in front of you. A snap back with a. <laughs> <laughs> and next it is Quinlan's turn as he keeps pulling the boat this way. Oh, you are not here anymore. Yep. Okay. Evic, your turn. All right, I'm gonna try biting and sl slashing with my tail. That, that one hits. is a, with a plus eight. Oh, well, then that definitely hits, yeah. Uh, and it's also grappled now, so I'm also being dragged along. Perfect. <laughs> That's awesome. But with my movement, I'm gonna drag it down and backwards. Okay. Down into the water. Uh, and then also the tail attack. Uh, plus eight as well. So that, uh, so I think that, that hits. hits. That hits for sure, yeah. Uh, so let's do, uh, oops, uh, 3d10 plus 5. Uh, so that'll be 16 damage on the bite. Uh, scrapple. The escape DC is 16, by the way. If he, if on his turn he wants to do that. And then the tail damage is 2d8. 15 damage. 30, 30, oh no, not 30, uh, what was it, 30 yeah. damage in total? 31 damage. Okay. And I, and I begin trying to drag it down deeper into the water, uh, doing like a, doing like a barrel roll, uh, de death roll kind of deal. Kick him in the shins! <laughs> it's a fish, I don't know if shins. Kick him in the fins! <laughs> 
Fuego, back to you. Can I s Wait. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna fake off from within. It's gonna slash again. With the scythe. 15 hit. Uh, yeah. That hits. And what's the situation? That's another. So it keeps the speed at like what? If it was 50 feet, it's 40 feet now. Um, and I'm gonna try and reel it in again. Uh, roll strength for me. 13. Uh, with that, you're keeping it kind of at where it's at right now. Like, you're, it's still in there, but it's not, like, gaining any ground or losing any ground right now. It's still just a struggle mm. of... Uh, it's like a, a war of two strong things right now. Like... Yeah. I'm pulling back, My and you're pulling that way. <laughs> sorry, so what, uh, uh, what was the... Uh, oh, sorry, was that your turn, Kaz? No, no, I was going to ask, um, can I feel like, and can I see Rannis, like, doing that? Uh, roll perception for me. This what is, I uh, use advantage because it's fishing. This is <laughs> Renocodile. Oh, wow. <laughs> Renocodile. Evic, Evicagator, I don't know, I thought that sounded better in my head. Uh, or Krannis? <laughs> Wow. Kranis. I like Crocus. What about Crocus? I like Crocus. Crocus? Yeah, okay. This is my um, Crocus form. Would I would I be able to argue something that was advantage because I'm fishing? Uh I I mean yeah, I guess. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Just listening back to myself say that. Um fifteen. Sorry, wait, I, I, bad bad DM moment. What was this for again? This was for me, like, to um, perceive if I can, like, feel or, like, see Oh, per the perception. Perception. Thing. Pulling yeah, okay. the other way, yeah. Yeah, you, in the kerfuffle of it, you can see that there is, like, another creature, like, on the back of it. And you, you're, Quinlan is still not aware that this is Rannis, but uh, you, you know that this is Evic, yeah. I, I keep switching the names back and forth, yeah. Davy Crocus. Rodevic. Alright. What's the word? Um, bop, 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 bop. Right. Seeing that, seeing that happen, I'm gonna tell Kunlan, go with the alligator, please. Or, like, if you could. I, I guess that might be a good idea. I, I can't tell him what to do, but I can tell you, and like that'll be easier for us. I promise. Um. Okay. And next, it is the Jaws' turn, as they thrash around, Bang. still unable to get the harpoon unstuck. But it goes okay. Sorry. And now, what was the uh, AC? Or not AC. What was the uh, DC to get out of the grapple? 16. Uh, okay, well, it rolls a 15. Unfortunately, just trying to thrash its tail around to get you off of it. <laughs> uh, but you're you're lodged in there tightly, so... Uh, Unus Momentus Cricket issue. Okay, all good. What does even mean? It's a cricket <laughs> issue. <laughs> I, I know. I feel like an outsider is like, what the fuck is a cricket issue? <laughs> Next it is Quinlan's turn as he... Pulls down here. Uh, keeping the words of Fuego going towards where the crocodile is. All these people over here, uh, you can hear on the docks over here, Fuego. Uh, they're all just screaming, help, like, help me, help me, bro, help me, bro, bro. I think Do you have, like, I'm gonna like look at Quinn. Do you have any like boats or anything, robots or anything like or, like dinghies to like help the people? There, this is the only boat in the bay that is for that purpose. The Bay Watcher. <sighs> Motherfuck. We need we need some sort of Dwayne Johnson. Arr, Arr. That guy was fired long ago. Or or maybe a, a Zac Efron. Or him too. Arr. Too good Arr. looking for Take this beach. 
All right, then, I think we're gonna have to do something else. All right, drop me off on one of those raft thingies and just pick the people up, and I'll, I'll fish. All right, so you want me to sail that way then? Could we? Wait, give me a second. Where's Fuego? There you are. Please have a message. Please have a message. Yes! Can I cast the message spell? Absolutely, yeah. Alright. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try to cast a message to Rannis or Kranis. Go with the boat. Uh, I have the intelligence of a crocodile. Sorry. Oh, there's food. Oh, look at all this yummy frog food that you can have over here. He's busy he... munching on a bigger fish. I don't know. <laughs> this fucking idiot. Stupid ass <laughs> crocodile. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll go with you. I know what you want. <laughs> I know, I know. I imagine like you even heard me just in that moment like, oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Alright, speaking of which, it is now Evic's turn. Alright, I'm gonna do some more, uh, some more death rolls with my bite. And slashing, s smashing with the tail. Let me just get back to that page, there it is. Alright. <laughs> uh, I do- Plus nine, or what is that again? Plus eight. Plus eight? Yeah, oh, that does not hit, sorry. That's right. It still doesn't break the grapple, though, so that's that's the most important thing. I am I am back, sorry about that. Uh, and then the tail, oh, fuck. Ooh, <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> sorry. Uh, what, did I, what did I miss? What did I miss? Uh, Nothing. You, you missed the... Uh, the people over here are all screaming for help, pretty much, uh, and... Fuego's having an inner debate now about trying to help them or to do this first. Mm. Well, doing this does help them, if that helps at all. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, is that your turn, Evic? That's my turn. Kay. Oh, uh, uh, and I, I use my movement to try to drag it down again. Okay, uh, can you roll, uh, like, how, how, how does that work? Does well, actually, wait, no, that? I changed, I, I changed it. He, he, he messaged me. I moved my, use my movement to, like, uh, push him closer to the boat. Okay. Uh, does it say anything about like that, like the size thing with that though? Like, how does that work? Uh, for what the grapple? Yeah, because like, because like, especially in water. Like, I, I guess that would make sense. But like, uh, it just, I'm just, I'm just grappled to a part of the body. All right, you push him closer. Like, uh, it's like a crocodile taking down a wildebeest. You know, all it needs is the head, and then it's, it's done. Okay. Doesn't and need to bite the whole thing. Okay, Fuego, your turn. Alright. Another slash. And what uh what's the situation with Bolton? Are we near enough to for me to like jump onto a raft? Uh you're still like about a hundred feet out from from any of these uh any of these rafts. Yeah, that hits. Oh what did what did it get? Oh god dang! He didn't even know. I wasn't looking at something else, else for a second. 13. It's with 10 feet. I'm going to continue reeling in. Um, some strength. 17. Yeah, with, with that one, especially after that hit, like, you feel a little bit of give on the, on the serpent side. Like, it starts ah. to get closer and closer to you guys, making it easy and easy for you guys to hit it. Now my moonbeam is about to, I think, get off the map. So like, a moon would a dream all yeah. My moonbeam would basically like, try to like aim specifically above Fagal. Yeah, I would say that your moonbeam would be able to do damage to it right now if that's what you're trying to apply. Yeah, I think it's about like that big, isn't it? We we realized moonbeam is actually a lot bigger than we thought it was. Um, yeah. If I do this back, if I miss anything, no worries. Can you roll a con save for me? Absolutely. It fails. 
perfect. 18 radiant damage, that's like a beam of light. It gets dragged across the water, but I'd imagine like it'd create like st roiling, steaming water as like it's been dragged across. And as it like gets over the, um, like it marks itself just above Fagal, it like, um, like a wave of force would calm down and like smash into the, um, into the, into the shark. That's why I'm continuing to try to pull it in. When we, when we reach one of the rafts, don't worry about me. Just pick up as many people as you can. I'm going to jump off, okay? Quinn? Arr, okay. I'll do, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll do me best. I believe in you. You got this. As you guys, however, say that, uh, in front of you, the jaws of Amity show up, rising out of the water and, la and attempting to land on front of the b a boat. Smashing oh, down. Uh, I think. We're, 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 are, did, are you on that other part of the map? Right? And you see the jaws of Evic on his ass. You are. <laughs> you are there right now, Fuego. Uh, could you? Yeah, I know. I'm right in the front. Yeah. Could you roll a dexterity saving throw for me? Yes. Fuck. Ooh. Okay. Big unfortunately, ooh. you take thirteen damage. Uh, as like the entire front of the boat practically is rocked as as this thing lands chunking a good portion of the front of it uh did it, it touch me it did touch you <laughs> can I roll a con save okay fuck it's an eight it's poisoned but yeah I also I'm fucked like I imagine like I just get like launched where am I where am I yeah with that uh, with that dexterity save, you are pretty much thrown back against the glass here, like one of those plastic or like one of those gooey frog things you throw out the window. You get stuck, yeah. stuck <laughs> on there in front of Quinlan. Since it landed like at the at the front of the ship, wouldn't Tantrum, since he's at the back, be flying technically? Oh, oh fuck! I forgot God. you were even on the boat. I thought you were still in the water. I'm sorry. Uh, roll me a dexterity save, please. Uh, uh, b -b -b You, you two also go flying, but you don't. You, since the boat got sh you got knocked at the beat, at the at the front, you get thrown forward into this cage, uh, taking four damage. Ooh, big oof. like you bonk your head straight on these metal bars. Ouch. Uh, but it is your turn now, Tantrum. All right. Um. All right. You Big ugly wop of gills. How do you erase things? Um, what are you trying to erase? I'm trying to erase my my harpoon line. Um, two, three, four, five. You uh, dr like basically like a marquee over it. There you yeah, go. I got, it, I got. It. It's stupid. And to the front of it of the ship and like blast it. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna do that. So, give me one sec here. I just gotta get the ship out. I think, Can though, it's on this side, so it would have been the same movements by speed either way, so I'm just going to put you over here. Alright. I'm going to do... The... They're loaded up specifically right now with cannibals. Uh, after this one shot, you're going to have to go and grab more cannibals. Alright. I see the Sea of Thieves is taking course. Oh, fuck. Mm. Okay, I'll just do the first one. Uh, unfortunately, oh, that... The brain. Unfortunately, that first one misses... Oh. So you hear like f like from the b behind you now, if we go on the ship, you hear just a massive explosion <laughs> come off the ship. Oh fuck! And uh, and just a splash well, I know of that water. Was a uh, roll. Uh, roll intelligence. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen a cannonball before in my entire life. Uh, roll intelligence. intelligence. History, maybe. If, you're, it, if yeah, you're proficient in it, then like go for it. Yeah, yeah it doesn't really matter. No, nah, you're as I've far as you're concerned. Kind of my life. As far as you're concerned, there's just an explosion on the yeah. ship suddenly. Mm. Weaponized thunder is what yeah, I'm what? saying. What? Cannonballs don't blow up. Well, they make a I know, boom like, though. Yeah. Oh, like from oh, the yeah. from the from the cannon itself. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like, like from yeah, like, like, the, yeah, like, the, like the, this. This shit ain't one piece, man. They blow, don't blow up. <laughs> And next it is Quinlan's turn. Uh, 
he turns back to you like, like, our good attempt, buddy. Go for it again, though. Ugh. And he starts cranking the wheel. You gotta crank. You just it. gotta crank. You gotta crank it. it. Uh, he doesn't go too far this time. Uh, he's kind of just trying to stay steady around where the crocodile is. So I have to go and load up the cannon every time? Like, I've got to walk, grab the cannonballs, and then come back? Yep. Bring the whole box to you. You could do that. I just, like, just shout. <laughs> I was like, I've been, like, just thrown against a, oh, a glass wall. Evic, your turn. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to uh, fuck him up. That's the tail. Damn, man. That's the bite. <laughs> that one hits. That one definitely hits. <laughs> Those ones, though. All right. Uh, that'll be 14. God damn. I'm not rolling well today. Is that not good? Oh, I guess it isn't good. Like, I'm looking at those. Uh... Yeah. It's okay. 14 dabblage. Uh, I have a potential to do 35 dabblage. That's that's why it's not good. Oh. Do you want to try to do any redirection this turn or no? Or uh, I will dra try to drag him off the ship. Okay. Do I need to roll anything for that? Uh, I mean, We haven't been doing it so far, so I'll just say what happens is we'll put you here and then we'll put him here. And he is successfully pulled backwards off the ship by some unknown force to you guys. I mean, I think you'd assume at this point that it's probably the, the crocodile in the back kicking ass. But... Mm. Fuego, your turn. As you're splatted on the glass. Has he been pulled back into the water? Sorry, what's yeah, this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's pulled back into the water. Yeah. What's the front looking like? Uh, it's pretty damaged. Uh, it c could use some repairs, but it's looking like it could go through a couple more hits uh, before it became like a sinking problem. Alright, cool. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the front and get my spirit weapon back. Fagal's gonna do his thing. And my spiritual weapon also is gonna do its thing. Damn, yeah. I'll take those both hit. Those both hit. And my moonbeam to kind of roll a con save. Oh, it's also poison, so I had disadvantage, oh, I think. Oh, shit. You're right. So I was I forgot. Damn it. That's my bad. Uh, it's save, fails, hardcore. It's a seven. And is that your turn? Oh, I didn't mean to do the long wall. Sorry. It's all good. 19. Nineteen damage or nineteen like nineteen damage. Holy shit! Okay. So oh. I do yeah. thirty forty two damage. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna continue trying to reel it in. Uh, What's the situation, uh, Captain? Strength check. <sighs> With that, I advantage on that one. Okay. Oh. Oh my. Whoa. God. Whoa. Oh my god, dude. Bro Holy shit. Yeah, with that, your sh your grip on on it is entirely gone. And whoop, just out of your hands. I, I just looked down at my hand like, what? It's like double taking. Look, look where's it gone? Like, what I just happened? As I see a little sploosh in the water. <laughs> and as this happens uh, on, on the cannon, uh, you just... You, you, or back by the cannons, you smell the smell of shit. And you assume that Tantrum has laid in mighty dookie. I'm going... Wait, wait. You know what your know. response to that is? Captain! Quinlan says, Yeah? <laughs> Look! <laughs> We're As cool, man! Oh, that's so good. Another ship comes across the waves. Okay. <laughs> Next, uh, the the jaws are freed from both the harpoon and the fishing rod. Are not free from the uh, the toothy grip of the crocodile, however. Nice. <laughs> 
You're pulled this way. But you're still attached. Oh, actually, Damn shit. Damn right I am. No, hold on, hold on, don't be too cocky. Well, dude, you, you're fair enough on being cocky. Never mind, you're still attached. Damn right I am. <laughs> <laughs> but it is, it's, it seems to have a new, a new directive with what it's doing. All right, Tantrum, your turn. All right. Um, uh, where are the cannons on the ship? Like, where are the cannonballs? Arr, the cannonballs be downstairs. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch a hole. Where I'm standing in the on the boat, so I can just drop down there immediately. Idiot. Okay, roll uh, roll strength for me. <laughs> As I say, hold, looking for my fishing rod. <laughs> uh, since you, I mean, this is not the most well kept together ship in the first place. You smash down below you. Uh, and land, hold on. I think right here would that would be. Okay, and let me just reveal that for you. Excellent. <laughs> uh, you land uh, in between a bunch of barrels that are filled with like crab meat and fish meat and all the sorts of things like that, and. Over here, you notice these are filled with cannonballs. And is, are these stairs? Yeah, these? yeah, those are leading back up to the first floor. Perfect. One, two, three. <laughs> Pick I, I, like, I, I just have the urge to be real pain. Like, oh, can't you fucking climb through your hole? What? No, like, you punching a hole through the floor. What about it? I was like, can't you climb through it? No, that's that's just me, like, in my head. I feel like Foy Fo Golding really pay you about it. But, like, he's not near enough to say anything. Um, I'm blowing holes in my ship! You beat me to it, because it's Quinlan's turn next, and he's he literally looks at you, you Fuego, and is like, is like, your friend is punching holes in my ship! What are you- you gotta stop him, too, now! Like that. Wait. <laughs> I'll fix that. I grab the entire barrel, and I bring the- bring it up the stairs. Okay. So I guess I- I'm, like, right here on the stairs. Whatever. Uh, would you be? Hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I think you'd be like closer right here, but whatever. Nice. Uh, Quinlan starts turning the ship, considering now no one's attached, and I'm getting into pirate voice way too much here. Uh, mm. So he cranks the ship back, going after it. Evic, your turn. One second. My turn already? Yeah. All right, gonna, gonna thrash this thing around in the water. This is gonna go like a fucking dog on a chew toy. <laughs> uh, twenty-one. Let me just get to the bestiary. Okay. Uh, bite. Fuck. Tail. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> baby. Uh, Let's. I should have done that a bite. Let's fucking go, man. All right. It's not that twenty. Still that twenty. Uh, forty-eight. Buys us uh, death 19 roll. 19 damage. Follow beast death roll. It is a death roll, yeah. Uh, hey. Only only 19 damage. Pretty good still. He's going to get eaten on Jack Sparrow and the Kraken. Who knows? Maybe it's Quinlan. Alright. And Fuego, your turn now. I'm going to pull my spirit weapon back. It's kind of like Thor, just like when he pulls me all out of the air. I'm gonna pull the spirit weapon back and try and reel back in. As Fuego, my moonbeam, and I'll kind of roll um con save as well Absolutely. to see if it breaks into poison. Uh, 16. What is the save for it? It's, it succeeds. Okay. 12. So Fuego is gonna scythe. I'm gonna spirit weapon, and I am both, gonna moonbeam. Both beam. of those hit. Yeah. Kind of roll a con save. Uh, 14. Fails. Wait, no. It just succeeds, so it takes 8. Um. It does damage. And strength save to try and, um, fish it. Oh, 
casted. Wait, so are you, you're, you're casting another, uh... Yeah, I'm trying to cast again. Yeah, unfortunately with both of those, you don't even get far enough forward on the ship for it to even catch the attention of the of the beast at this point. It seems to have other other goals in mind. Fuck. Ah, you on the beast Her. that eats the jaws? Ha! <laughs> um, I'm gonna ask if, like... I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like, keep, keep going. Alright, now my turn. Okay. Next, uh, the jaws starts swimming to the northwest. Pulling you along with it, Evic. And, uh, yeah, it, it's swimming towards, uh, this dock of people here. Uh, all of which are screaming at the sight of that. That's all right. Tantra. <laughs> yeah. Tantrum? Tantrum, yeah, yeah. Your turn. Woo! Let's go, boys. Let's um, go! Let's fucking go! Um, so, is this the bottom of the stairs or the top of the stairs where I'm at? No, uh, these are the bottom of the stairs, and then they go up to the top uh, on this side. Okay. One, two, three. I'm up top now, so I guess I could put myself over here. Right there, yeah. Uh, four, five, six. I'm gonna dash. That's okay. Yep. Dash. Um. And. Ice cream truck. <laughs> is there an ice cream truck, man? There is an ice cream truck around. I can hear it. Uh. To the cannons. <laughs> Here it goes. Oh shit! This is like literally a <laughs> truck outside of our house. Sorry. No, what the <laughs> hell? Oh, you know you don't see those every day. Um. So I guess I'm gonna load up on the cannon. Yeah. Uh, with the dash, I'm gonna just allow you to set up pretty much at there, and then next turn is when you're gonna be able to fire again. Sounds good. I'll set up. Okay. It is Quinlan's turn as he cranks the ship towards. Uh, I keep going to the wrong. You just gotta thing. crank you Just gotta it. crank it. Okay. And yeah, now back to you, Evic. Already? I believe so. Yeah, we're <laughs> we're sailing literally. All right, I thrash it again. I uh, drag it under the water. Fail. Bite. <laughs> uh, oh, so those, 16... those, both, those both hit. You're good. You're, oh, wow. You're okay, golden. damn, dude. All right, let me just... It was... Oh, wait, they're both plus eight, right? Yeah. Yeah, but then, yeah you're good. Holy f... Fuck, Fuck yeah, you you're go. just See, bitching. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, right there, look at that. Uh, 28 damage uh, oh, on shit, the bite, yo. and then it was... It was... Uh, damn, fuck. 19 damage on the tail. Damn, so that's practically almost 50 damage right there. Yeah. Mm. What's melting it right there? There we go. I, all I had to do was bitch and complain once, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can see that it is not looking good. Not looking good. Like, Evic, from, from what you can see, literally, like, this this thing starts to kind of, like, jerk around, like, unnaturally, almost. Good. Jerk for me. Oh, never mind. Jerk for me. <laughs> Do not. Please, I, I, please. I said that knowing what it was going to sound like, but just came and up worse. And you still hate it, yeah. <laughs> All right, Fuego, your turn. All right. I'm gonna do a little prayer, and then hope that this time I can, I'll be able to pull it up. I'm trying to think, is there anything I can fit it? Any spell I could do that could do anything? I don't think there is. I'm here so I'm, fucking up this fish, and you're here praying to God, praying to God that I can just catch it. I want dinner. All right. I'm gonna try and cast again twice. Well, not twice, but once, but like with advantage. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Fuck. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's not your, your fault. Your god has abandoned you. Hey, thank you for he following, has. Sam. Thank you. Oh. oh, thank you, Sammy. 
Sam, you haven't followed us before. What well, the? Don't say it like that. Come on. Sam. Thank you, Sam. I'm disappointed, but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but unfortunately, um, like, that cast is also just not doing it for this. Yeah. I'm gonna turn it, uh... That's alright, I forgive you already. Into... I'm gonna have it, like, stop being a, a fishing uh, rod again. I turn it into a, um... A giant katana. And then I am going to... Um, Are you gonna say hello, like, beastie? Or... No, I'm gonna say smile, you son of a bitch, and then bang. Killed. Went right to the mouth, done. we both die. We have, now we have a rescue we have rescue mission to get before I go back mm. from the afterlife. Yeah, this reminds me of a little... No, 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 what you gotta do is you gotta How get How the hell does Kaz the actually know the fucking Jaws reference? Did anyone else just hear that? <laughs> yeah, it's smart. Oh, I don't know what shit. He literally said that, and he's... Uh, how the hell does... you? You've seen Jaws, but you haven't... Yes, I've seen Jaws! Fuck sake. You haven't seen Star Wars? Yeah, what the hell Fuck is you, up man. with this, dude? I don't understand. This guy literally just quoted fucking Rob Schneider. I know that was not who it is, but like, <laughs> yeah, no, like, I, like my brother he loved Jaws. Like we'd watch it all the time. Uh huh. I hated it. I didn't care that much for it. The fuck I mean, it you're, you're out of the game now. Certainly, as a shark movie, I don't know. Exactly, it's like that's it. It's a shark movie. I think there are better. I don't want to be that what? guy. It's it's like Jurassic Park. It's very uh, it's very overrated. There's so much better dinosaur movies. Don't say <laughs> you make some cry. <laughs> <laughs> so I Tantrum, hope you had the Discord. Tantrum yeah, is Tantrum's thrown, dead. Tantrum is thrown from the ocean, and and into the, the jaws of life. The Mosasaur eats him <laughs> for saying such despicable things. Despicable Me, there you go. That's a really great dinosaur movie. Yeah, uh, I'm, um... I'm gonna turn my, uh, fishing... My spiritual fishing rod into a giant katana, and then I kind of, like, slash at the air, but, like, as, like, I... cross halfway through, like, it just, like, phases out of uh, air, materializes it, uh, with Fuego. With Fuego, sorry. And Fuego will, like, do two slashes with, like... The sight in this map, but also a giant katana in his map as well. So it's got two. So it's gonna use spiritual weapon and sight. Oh my god! I wanna. I hate when I do this. Every time I do a really cool fucking badass fucking description, and that and that. Uh, that's happens. why I usually describe it after <laughs> the something happens. Well, in my in my in defense, I didn't see it happen from inside, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have like, uh, right, Now gun. it could be cool. Let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Fuego Action Surge as well, so he's gonna do Sight twice. No, Action Surge, sorry, um... Oh yeah, no, he's Action Surge. Bastard. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it miss. I know. Oh. Bastard. <sighs> Fuego's just gonna walk into the water. And then just dry. We got an <laughs> adult female Stewie Griffin here, with tiggle bitties. Excuse me? What? The, the, all the girls look like an oh, yeah. adult Stewie Griffin with... <laughs> Like a girl, so really, son, really son of a bitch, son of a bitch. It's really fucking like specific. <laughs> that sounds like, like some sort of weird like fetish dream you had or something yeah, like that. No, like no, <laughs> they're like really busted oh, Stewie Griffin. No. Like you know what I mean? What? No. <laughs> I have to also say something by the way. The wars pixel pixel is really good. Oh, thank you. It like is. you mean like for it the boat one or like for for like what scene? Uh, for the uh, the big one. Oh, for the big one. Looks okay, yeah, great. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Who turn? Uh, now it is the Jaws' turn as they... Uh, they're fighting against you at this point, uh, Evic, and they're sick and tired of it. So he tries to shake you off. 17, Doesn't... bitch! There we go. Oh. What was it, 16 that I needed? Yeah. Okay, and he uh -huh. turns, oh, he he turns right. to you. And what's your AC... Oh, well, shit! It's 12? Uh, that misses. What's the AC again, <laughs> just so I can know? 14, I think it was. 14, okay. Uh, can, can I, as his mouth is open, can I swim inside of it instead? Oh my god. You see Fey Fega inside. Oh my, daddy. oh my god. Yeah, I will allow you to do this as a reaction if you'd like to do it, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna swim inside on my next turn, I'll do all the <laughs> attack and everything. Okay. Uh, Tantrum, your turn. Um. 
Mm. Oh, yeah, I can fire the cannons. I'm going to fire on that bitch. <laughs> uh, would that be a strength check? No, uh, that is just the attack roll oh, wait, from no, the right. ship. Right, 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 right. Forgot. Still getting used that I can like minimize them when I click on them. Mm. Unfortunately, that misses. Fucking oh. right now. <laughs> When I, te when I tested this earlier, balls. I tested this earlier, I was getting some damn good rolls. <laughs> it was, like, almost annoying. I was like, dude, this is broken. I need to change this. And now I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> like, clearly not. Uh, oh, so... As I miss every attack I do. True that. That's so that's a vibe, dude. I, I, I feel that. Uh... To make to make things easier for you, Quinlan brings the ship in even closer. And Evic, back to you. All right. So I'm uh, now that I'm inside of him, I'm just going to start chomping at whatever bits I could grab. Okay. Bite. Uh, and then I'll thrash my tail uh, at his face. Uh, tail. Uh, the tail, the tail definitely hits. Yeah. Wall says you can see Fake. I'll just like slashing at the uvula. Uh. 18 damage. This thing is just hanging on. Uh, and that's it for my turn. Fuego, your turn. <sighs> I'm gonna materialize my spirit weapon back to me and try and fish again. <laughs> I'm gonna do <laughs> I'm gonna fucking catch it. Thirteen. Unfortunately it, it's got its attention pretty much set on uh wh what it's dealing with right now with the fact that like a giant crocodile just went in its mouth. <laughs> I th it's I think it's more like pressing to the, the giant shark than than mm. the fishing rod right now, but uh, yes, no unfortunately, worries. it doesn't grab the attention of it. Uh, Evic, uh, did you get out of... Uh, sorry, what did you say? What, like, did you just end that He's with in, in the mouth? Uh, uh, pretty yeah, much? I'm still in the mouth, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to uh, try to use my... Um, what's it called? Fagal's going to try and slash with the scythe. Okay. And then Moonbeam as well. Oh, okay, yeah. The, the Moonbeam definitely hits, yeah, right? Like, it's always a consistent hit? Yeah, but, like, yeah, just uh, con save. Okay. Fails. So, yeah. There we go. You just feel like it shake from within as, like, um, the impact kind of, like, creates a little quake if that, in from on the, um, on the what's it called? On the shark, that's the word I was looking for. On the, on the shark serpent. <laughs> mm. uh, as you do that, the shark uh, that was previously like twitching and kind of convulsing in the water a, a bit, uh, and you notice this intensely around you, Evic, uh, it turns into just pure light. And all you hear is just a shriek in the water. As suddenly in front of you, uh, you just see a shark. It's just a normal shark. Am I still inside of it? No, it's just right in front of you. I eat it. Uh, go for an attack on it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, never mind. Actually, I guess it's not really your turn. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, that didn't, that didn't hit. Regardless, the shark, uh... The shark reacts to your your uh, attack and just swims away suddenly. I, I like to think that like he transforms back and we're just like flowing there for like a couple seconds looking at each other. Uh, I try to bite it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. But Don't you, do it. There's something tense in the water, and you know that it's my not blood cheeks. You, oh my god. Oh my god. You know that it's not done yet, as that shriek is still like emanating from the water and below you deep below Epic, you see you see this coming from below 
I see what. Oh. Is that cloister? That's, what is that? That's a cool token. Is what that is. It's like a Metroid. Is that is that is that the Eldritch God? Is that my God? Oh my God! As from literally. below, suddenly a hey, tentacle. Could tell, it looks like uh, you, you got some competition here for the most tentacly creature. A tentacle like <laughs> lurches up towards you. Can't believe. Rolling a sixteen. That hits. Okay. Nine damage. Bad at math. <laughs> Only nine Only damage. Only nine damage right now, but hey. Ah, 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 Okay, continue. Okay, let me just officially add him to turn order. So it is a him. I knew it. Yeah, I was going to say. He I figured it has the genitalia that I was expecting of this kind of creature. Oh, I see. Okay, I believe uh, we were on Tantrum's turn. Yeah. All right, so t Tantrum, you were unaware, but for the most part, you, it seems like the the battle is over. Or uh, there, there's still tension in the air, but like it, the the shark itself has disappeared. Piss off, shark. <laughs> Piss off, uh, shark. Shit. Uh... Well, I'm glad that's over. What a relief. Uh, yeah, Quinlan turns to you and says, like, I, I, I guess we should start collecting up the pe the, the stragglers still out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah. He just goes like, I was gonna say. <laughs> like, small anime face. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Alright, so Quinlan turns the boat and starts to sail away. Alright, later, gators. Get it? No, See it's not Oh, and that's not Crocodile. Next, that's it is crocodile. the Amity Beach Horror's turn. In a while, Crocodile, that was it. As it goes for a second attack on you, Rannis. Or, uh, uh, Evic. Uh, and it's theoretically the first attack of this turn, but... Rolling a 16, that hits. Jesus. That thing, that is a really cool token, though. Like, God damn it. Thank you. I know, yeah. 15 damage. Well, there's out of space. 15 damage. <clears throat> What's okay. it think? You're made of HP? That's some H. But it's making... Uh, second attack does 16. Nice. Okay. 9 damage on the second attack. It's it's not moving from its deep position here, though. It seems, Evic, that it wants to... Remain out of the shadows as much as possible. Or no, remain in the shadows, sorry. But it is your turn. Evic, sorry. Oh. Contemplating, I'm contemplating. I, uh... Fuck. Alright, alligator brain, or crocodile brain, I'm going to fight it. <laughs> I'm going to swim down angrily and try to fight this thing that's attacking me. Okay. It is... It, you'd be able to reach it in your range for sure at this point. All right. I'm going to bite it. And... ka -chow. That's the tail, I said. That's the bite. There we go. Uh, it was... Uh, that'll absolutely hit, yeah. ka -chow. Uh, 21 damage. To, to the bite, and it's grappled. Okay. Nice. But the tail flails. Alright, Fuego, your Lucky. turn. Can I see... Can, can I see... Am I able to see it in the war, or...? Uh, currently, your guys' ship is orient oriented to, like, sail away. Sail away, sail away. Uh, so, in, in theory, like, if you're at the front of the boat right now, you wouldn't have the best vantage point on it. Mm. Uh, I would still allow Don't you to, to go to the side of the boat and roll a perception for me, though, if you want. 
I will. Yeah. I, like, I feel like I'd like. Would I be able to sense something's off? Uh, you, you might be able to sense that something's off just by the fact that uh, that Evic hasn't resurfaced yet. Yeah. Fourteen. Resurface. Uh, with that fourteen, you do notice that while the the movement, the moving waves and turmoil of the water from that was caused by the shark is gone, there is still deep movements in the ocean that you're familiar with from uh, from sailing before. When you fought that lot, is Fagel is is Fagel in the water? Uh, is... was, was he in the water? I think. Uh, what did you do? With him yeah, because he was in the mouth of the shark. Uh, I mean, I think at that point he probably was summoned back because I think he got damaged in that, is what I would say. Oh, okay. Yeah, no worries. I'll just summon Fake out to my side and get ready. Um, you guys aren't, you guys aren't questioning why the shark just randomly transformed and left? Exactly, like, I'm so <laughs> something's up, but I don't know what's happening. I'm already in action. If I, as soon as I see anything that, like, is hostile, I'm going to try and attack it. And send either Vagal to water or I'll send cycle my spiritual weapon on my moonbeam onto if that's if that's cool. Yeah. And if I get the chance, maybe try and catch it. Alright, Tantrum, your turn. I'm a it's girl. I'm a I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gonna take a nap? I'm gonna take a nap right here. Uh I'm gonna Get ready on the harpoon over here. At the front. Okay. But all I can do at the moment, so. Okay. Quinlan uh, keeps driving away. I'm just gonna move your shadow snake here. Okay, and now back to you. Oh no, sorry. Now it is the Amity Beach Horrors turn. Rolling a nat one, this tentacle flies past you, Evic, and just goes nowhere, really. But watch the... me, watch me beat this thing solo, guys. Seven. This next tentacle like flies past you. You notice that this one has a little bit of a barbing to it, like that looks more unnatural than the other one. Now hmm. it is your turn. I try to flail a belt. Ripping off a piece of it if I can. 16? 16. Just misses, unfortunately. Hell. That hits. 18. That will be. That will be. Uh. Shit, what was it? It was 2d8? Yeah, 2d8. Uh, that'd be 11. To hit or damage? Sorry. Uh, damage. Okay. The tail was, yeah, tail hit. Okay. Yeah, this mass of, of what looks to be, like, tentacles, coral, and other parts of fish beings, like, just gets whipped by the tail, and parts of it fly off, kind of going off into the sea, like, becoming what they, what they, the pieces that they are, like, just f swim back. Okay. Fuego, your turn. I am and this is all happening on the wall I can't do nothing about this I'm just like is there anywhere I can like see any gauge any of this happening uh roll a perception for me again 19 you see like uh three uh okay there's three balls with three lights in each of them <laughs> rotating and you, 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 you kind of, you, since it's deep in the water, you don't necessarily know if you're seeing what you're seeing or if you're just getting like a weird, like, water light trick or something like that. Yeah. But it is a little odd. Fagel, right. go to it. Fagel dives in, yeah. Yeah. Just I gave him, like, the bait on, like, the fishing rod, though, so, like, he still, like, goes down just in case it's a fish. We can catch. 
And so he's just swimming down, and like I'm holding it, watching the ethereal spool spin. Uh, through Fagel's vision, you see, yeah, like that. Uh, Evic is a crocodile. Is currently in, it, locked in battle with what it's... looks to be a giant octopus type amalgamation monster. Oh dang! I'm gonna pull my moonbeam aside, right down onto it if I can, if it's within sixty feet from where the shock was initially. Oh yeah, yeah. It's pretty much in the exact same spot now. Could you roll a con save, please? Okay. Oh my god! Why? That's the. W it saved. Nineteen. It takes four damage. Okay. Uh, radiant, if that does anything. Okay, next it is Quinlan's turn. He sails the boat towards the east, towards these people. Because he's also not sure of what's happening, he's just no is trying to get people now. Hmm. Amity Beach Horror's turn. It lashes out at you with a crab claw from its left. A might like it literally like looks like it came out of nowhere, but a mighty crab claw comes out, uh, rolling a 19 to hit. Six damage only, though. <laughs> God damn it. Oof. I'm fine, guys. It hasn't even hit the halfway point yet. And then a, like, rocky piece of coral extends from its front and just smashes into your face with a 15. What's your AC? Uh, as a crocodile, 14. Ah, okay, that hits them. Could I... Rockle. Could I tell Tantrum when he gets a chance to load a cannon and fire in the direction I point in? Uh, yes. 14 yes. damage, by the way. 14 damage? Yeah, on the cannon. Which Guys, side? Hit the halfway point. The side on one. Okay. Okay, Evic, your turn. All right. Once again, I'm going to try ripping it apart. Eh! Nice. Eh. Tail flapping. All oh, right, well, that's all right. <laughs> I love the reactions always. Like, that's the best part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just the, oh. Damn! <laughs> 22 damage. That's fucking good, though. I don't know. In my books, that's so And it's good. continuing to be crap. Right, if I don't do the most amount of damage, I'm doing fucking no damage. Okay? It is <laughs> Fuego, it is your turn. But no. I... Alright, Tantrum. Get ready. Get on the cannons. And I'll then fire. Quite where... Pardon? Quite a ways away from me. Well. A ways away now. A way away. But I'll, ma I'll make my way to there. I will be. Yes. Good. Sorry, like, I, I don't mean to be snappy. The to Just I quick. know the orientation is a little bit weird, but if it was the cannon that you want to get into, the, this would be the cannon to get is into. That, for, should, should I get on the side? Sorry. Uh, the southern side of the of the drawing is the correct orientation of the direction that the cannon would need to be in. Okay, so is it would I be here or? Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Yeah, uh, Fagal from where he is is going to keep going down, and then if. He's in range. He'd go, he'd go for a slash. Um, and then I'd also use my moonbeam, so if it could roll a con save. Okay. Uh, Fagel will probably be in range next turn, by the way. Is what no, it's here. Yeah. Uh, he rolled roll a... a uh, uh, no. Oh, that's a fucking weird... Uh, that was a bum roll, is what that was. Yeah, he fails, <laughs> so it's all good. Mm-hmm. No, uh, it takes eight damage. Uh, radiant. If I unleashed incarnation, I could go for. Nah. Yeah, I might have that. Okay, tantrum, your turn. Uh, yes. Um, gonna make my way to that cannon. I suppose as far as I can make it. I already dashed. 
Uh, did you? Because you can, uh, I think, uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. If you dash, you can do double double uh, what you just did. I can only dash once per turn. Per, per, uh, no, you can dash uh, every, every, you can dash, like, you can dash every, every turn. turn. Oh, yeah. you can dash. No, as let's do attack. that. Oh, because, well, because as an action. Because if you dash, then you can't do any, do something afterwards. God. If you're a fire, though, you can use your extra attack. Because if you have an extra attack on the turn, yeah, use your Ooh. action to dash. But sometimes, if you're like a rogue, you use your bonus action. Good. Yeah, so you I should be able to, to get to the cannon to load it up. Let me check. 30, yeah, you yeah, should you every time. Yeah, um... Oh, no, you, only, you don't get to do that. No mind. You, you, like, you have to attack to do extra attack, so you can't... So then why? All good. I, I can get the cannon loaded up for next turn, so... Yeah, no worries, no worries. No rush. Yeah. Well, there is a rush, but, like... Why are you sick? <laughs> get your bucket ready. <laughs> Okay. I need buckets. Quinlan brings the the brings the boat to the north, uh, towards these docks with all the people on them. Next, it is the Amity Beach Horror's turn. Misses on you again. Oh, two damn misses. Right. Damn, 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 damn. Damn right. All right, and it's back to you, Evic. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking good. Well, the, I mean, the second I, the one, I guess. The second was the tail. Mm. Might as well be fair about that one. Uh, tail with... Tail! Tail! <laughs> That'd be 12 damage. Smacking around. Still restrained, or still grappled. Okay. Next, it is Fuego. Is Fagel in range? A uh, Fagel is Fagel is in range now. Yeah. Perfect. So Evic, you just see like this tiny little yellow like celestial tadpole <laughs> just swimming like, over. like his tail yeah. just swimming like flapping really fast as he swims. Yeah. Closer. He's it's like really yeah, it's like aggressively swimming, but, like it's very <laughs> small, and like it's got like a little like fish hook like, in its mouth. Like, this giant, this giant eldritch beast and yeah. this giant crocodile. This tiny little tadpole. <laughs> little fucker coming down. <laughs> Jokes on you guys. This thing's eldritch too. <laughs> but yeah, no, like it's coming down. Well, you can see he's got. Like, you yeah, see he's got an eldritch down here. Hey, mate. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm eldritch too. Oh. Where do you think my Where do you think my powers come from, bro? Oh, sorry. No, I think this is something else. Sorry, I thought like that was something spooky. But yeah. Um. You just see he's got, like, a fishing hook in his mouth as well, which is, like, from my, uh, spirit weapon. And when it gets in range, it's gonna, like, toss the spirit, uh, hook onto the- if it can, toss it onto the beast. Yeah. Sam? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. That'd be... It's 11 hit with that. Nope. No. Fagal is gonna be, like, on top of it, though, like, making sure that that, that line doesn't get lost. And then it's gonna use his sight to slash. Fucking yes! <laughs> Whoa! Finally! I love you, Kaz. Whoa! Finally! Someone, someone clip that, please. I've been waiting for this my entire fucking life. All right. It has been critically wounded because of slasher. So now it's it's been grievously wounded, yeah, and so slashed. now next turn it gets disadvantage on all attack uh, attack rolls. Uh, next turn. Holy shit. And it only does 9 damage, but that's still 9 damage, and then Moonbeam, baby. Can I roll a Conte? Please. It fails. I want to roll. Yes! <laughs> Take 20 fucking damage, bitch. Nice one. From beneath the waves, you hear just a shrill shriek of pain. A slow bubble. Like, a bubble. A yeah, bubble. Like, <laughs> yeah, I hear the shriek and all you guys see. It. <laughs> I see like one little bubble comes out, I just hit like it explodes and I just scream intensely. Like it's so loud that even Quinlan turns around. And he's like, "Arr, what was that? I thought we was finished with it." Something else. 
Or could the legends be true? Could the Abbotty Beach horror be a real thing? Yeah. I just turned in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tantrum, your turn. Alright. Let's go. Um, I'm gonna load up that cannonball and I'm gonna fire that bitch. And I missed. Now y'all see that one coming. No siree. Did that hit? Uh, unfortunately, that misses. Fucking bitch tits. Can I go again? Or can I do this? <laughs> Fuck yeah. Uh, he's an extra attack. I've got that in my uh, thing. I'll bear it back, by the way. Uh, oh, thank you so much, bye. Thank you. I can do my action surge. Go for it, yeah. I will shooty again. If I can find the ship. There it is. Oh! No, I'm sorry. Yeah, you just you shoot two cannons into the water and they just plunk, plunk. Plunk, plunk. From, from, uh, for, from your perspective, Evic, pretty much you just see like two cannonballs like hit water and they just sink past your fight. <laughs> God damn. Uh, it's Quinlan's turn as he, he maneuvers the boat a little bit farther away. Uh, kind of docking it into this, uh, into this, uh, oh shit. What the, docking it into this dock, I guess would be the best way to put it. I don't know. Uh, and as he does that, for this duration of the turn, uh, people start to, like, jump onto the boat pretty much, like, begging for, for spots. Women and children first. All the bros just jump on. It's like, bro, bro. There are no women and children here, bro. Just bros. There are women here. No, they're bros. That's just being sexist. No, they're that, hey, it's sexist to consider them women and not bros. So you're not, you don't consider them women at all. Don't catch me in this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like discussion between like you, like down there in the sea, as a crocodile. Let me just chuck these guys on. Alright. Next it is the horror's turn as it takes some swipes at you, Evic. A what? Missing both. Uh, right. And you're still grappled, right? Gra yeah, grappling. Okay, it moves up here. Are you with it? Uh, and uh, it I is now... Been... Pardon? I haven't been utilizing my snake. Should I just delete it or should it, like, be with me? I mean, I just say it's with you for now, like... Okay. Uh... Good. I shall utilize it next turn. Uh, with this movement that it's doing, it is also s now starting to, to submerge. It's starting to try to come to the top of the surface of the water. And it is Submerge or surface? Oh shit, yeah, surface. Trying to surface. <laughs> All right. Trying to emerge from the water is what I should have said. Alright. Yeah. What was that? That was a That's a five, oh. so it's not a yeah. hit. That's a hit though. Alright, and then my snake also is going to to bit. Uh where is the bit? Hacha. Uh, this spell's level is level four, no so that means I could do two bites now. <laughs> Hello, I don't know why I said no worries. Hi, Mac. All right, so that'll be uh, seventeen damage plus six, so that'll be twenty-three damage from all of us, all together. Oh damn! Good job, Stick. That was a badass job. All right, Fuego. Mm-hmm. Back to you. Right. Uh, some people have been jumping on the ship now. Uh, by the end of the next turn, there will be uh, everyone from this batch. All right. 
Alright. I'm a moonbeam. Can't say please. Oh, oh do you roll disadvantage on it, by the way? Oh, uh... No, 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 the moonbeam on its attacks last time. I did not really need to, I, I admittedly. Perfect. Holy shit, those, those attacks oh, last turn were a real ki kick in the dick. Uh, he yeah, also he also yeah, fails yeah. that one. Perfect. He takes eight damage, and Fagal is gonna like grab onto the hook again and try and hook it with the spirit weapon hook, if that's cool. Yep. The seventeen hit. Yeah, absolutely, that just hits it. Yeah. Would it be hooked on there? Oh shit! I should have. Uh, sorry, I should have said this, Fuego. Uh, you're very far away from it right now. Like, you're currently like 5, 10, uh, this would be, sorry, 150, 100, 150. You're practically 200 feet away from this thing. Alright. So, yeah, I don't but think. But would I'd... it be hooked on? No. Because if the hook's yeah. hooked, then I will, like, I will teleport to Fagal to get the fucking fish to catch it. Does that, okay, uh. How far away do you have to be to tell? Yeah, like, that's what I was gonna ask. Is that, like, a thing? Like,. How far away does Fago need to be, or how close, rather? Is there a range? Kaz? I can teleport the cost of 15 feet of my movement, regardless of the distance between us two. Oh, okay. Damn. Well, then I will say, yeah, you can fucking totally do it. Alright. Fago is gonna slash. With the scythe. Oh no. But when he slashes the scythe, I'd like him to quickly pull twice on the hook. So I know to teleport. And I'm just gonna pull through space and time. And teleport to where Fagal is. Now you're underwater. And underwater looking at an Eldritch Abomination. As it's and, like... And the, the eye, Amity Horror. The eye that was like fixed at, uh, at, at you before Evic now suddenly switches to focus on, on the little tiny frog that's in front oh, of him. No. <laughs> it is it's there. Alright, Tantrum, your turn. I don't want to draw this. Uh, I want to draw it. Yeah, it looks cool. Oh, you know, I'm going to do the classic uh, load it up and I'm going to fire at it. One of these is bound to hit. That misses, I'm sorry. I'll use my what actions. the hell? Every time I did this before, I was getting like 25s and shit, people. Like, I was never not getting that. What was I doing? I don't know. That's I'll fucked. use my action surge so I can go again. Oh, you, can, you only use your action surge once per day. Fuck, you're right. Well, I guess I'm just gonna shit myself. You do get extra attacks, so. Why? If you, didn't do, if you don't do extra, you can always extra. Every time. Because you just get extra attacks. You're a fighter. Yeah. All right. Action surge would basically just give you a third action or an extra action. Oh, that's so you could dash on. You could action surge to dash and then attack twice. Can action oh. surge cause you to attack four times? How about that one? I think only three times. Did that one hit? Nope. Tantrum's <sighs> just gonna shit his pants <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> a rage shit, just ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right, next is Quinlan's turn, and he sails back towards the the quote unquote action that he's not really even fully aware of. He just knows that there is still a fight going on, apparently, but doesn't know where. He sails away. He sails away. He sails away All from right. us. So, Fuego, now that you are the Amity, Amity Beach Horror's main target, these are coming to you. 17. Dealing 10 damage. Fuego? Fuego? I don't think he's here. Kaz! That hits. That hits, oh. that hits? yeah, okay. Uh, you take, did you hear the damage? You take 10 damage. I yeah, think, so. yeah. Okay, next one, 16. Does that hit? Misses. Okay. But, like, the the attention of the eye is just on you intensely now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I see this eye. Did it attack you? Sorry. Absolutely, yeah. 
is a what really, did... really big. Before you attack, what did it attack me with, uh, Sam? Uh, oh, it attacked you with its tentacle. Are you about to try to get... Kind of wrong. Yep. Can I roll a con save, please? Yes, it can. This Eldritch Horror is about to roll a con save on this fucking bullshit. 17. <laughs> we're good. We're good. That's it. Okay. Whew. The bested. Okay. So your turn, Evic. All right. How, how big is this eye? What'd you say? Ugh, how big is this eye? It's pretty fucking big. Like, it's bigger than you are. All right, good. That's exactly what I want. I'm oh, gonna let no, go it, of wherever it is. Never mind. It's a swim. tiny eye. <laughs> I'm gonna swim directly towards the eye. I know what you're about to do. You <laughs> fuck. And I'm gonna bite my way into this guy's eye. <laughs> Jesus. Go yeah. for it. Duh. I bump into his eye. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Nine. Oh God, wait. What is that? Nine plus eight. That's uh, seventeen. That hits. That one does hit. All right, nice. I'm gonna say that's the bite. The first one was the tail. Okay. Yeah, you freaking uh, bite 22, in. 27 damage as I bite 20. into his eye and crawl my way in. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Like you're just like looking at this Eldritch Horror. The eye like shifts towards you. You just see me just walk up like slowly into his eye. <laughs> I know, like. Uh, like, Fuego's cringing that, right that now. One, that one gif that I sent of, of me, of like uh, the crocodile just floating, that's that's me just slowly into the eye. Ooh, I hate it. Yeah, wow. Fuego, your turn. <laughs> I'm just cringing at this happening. Yeah, as also, that's happening, this I'm... thing like lurches back in the water, just unnaturally even, and just screams in agony. Uh, I don't know if you want to do this, but uh, like technically, I would be grappled on something on the eyeball. I absolutely would <laughs> allow that. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm grappling the eyeball. Thanks. All right. Now, as I'm because I'm hooked on, I'm gonna swim thirty feet back. And summon Fagal to attack with the scythe. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm gonna. Before I swim back, I'm gonna pull out my scythe and coat it in some of my oils. Pass it to Fagal. Swim back 30 feet. Can I. Would, would Fagal be able to slash with that poisoned. Uh, Pardon? Sorry, you cut out for me for that part. Fagal's gonna slash with the poison scythe. Absolutely, go for it. That hits! Can you two hit? Perfect. Can I roll a con save, please? It fails. Ooh. Seven. I'm gonna... Instead of, like, doing the 8 damage, could I instead have it be poisoned? Because I can choose between the two. Uh, yeah, sure, yeah. Yeah, so it's now poisoned and takes 11. And, um, yeah, I'm going to keep swimming back and I'm going to try and fish it forward. If I could do that, Sam. Okay. Uh, I think you've used your movement, haven't you? I used my movement, yeah, 30 feet to go back. Oh, unfortunately, though, like, yeah, like, that's not looking good for it regardless, yeah. Yeah. Tantrum, your turn. Yeah. So I was supposed to send one like Anakin. Let's blast this fucker out of the sky! Even what? The That's water. Kylo Ren. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't even watch Star Wars before, Connor. <laughs> I got him. Oh, oh Connor, man. that hits! Finally! Let's do another one. Is it going to be just as lucky? No. Uh, so hit the, uh, click the attack on that cannonballs. Uh. Holy shit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that, that, I don't want to say anything, but that is funny when you're behind the screens. So, uh, for, for Fuego and Re for Evic, what you see it's just out of nowhere, this fucking cannonball just smash into the water at high velocity, right into this thing, and it it 
it several chunks of it split off and become little animals that they were before and, and swim off into the ocean. Oh, and wait, but uh, there's chunk uh, like a chunk of it that is still active, but it is just hanging on. Quinlan drives the boat a little bit further. Next, the 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 horror rises from the water fully with its movement. Emerging from the water, f terrifying these people right here. And actually going to grab at them. The Unfortunately, these two people up front feel the brunt of it as, as a, a wave of tentacle grabs them and lurches it, them into its own fleshy mass. Ew. All right, Evic, your turn. Okay, one second, one second. Sorry, I'm just finishing up the sketch. It's okay. <laughs> oh, are you drawing this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, and uh, since I'm in the eye, I'm gonna start just thrashing around, biting whatever I can with my and flapping around my tail. Uh, and my snake is also gonna bite. I didn't. I don't think my snake bit last time either. That's okay. Uh, so that'd be a 19 for the first, for the bite. That hits. That'd be a 21 damage, and then my shadow snake also bites. Ta -ha -ha. I think only the 17 hits. Yeah, yeah, the 17 hits, yeah. Alright, so that'd be a 20, did I say 21? 31 damage in total. <clears throat> Evic, how do you want to do this? Uh, I want to swim around in this guy's eye juice and just like start biting the back of it, like the the the, the little veiny part of the back of the eye, and start ripping that uh, ripping that up, like digging my way into it deeper. Also, oh, like Suicide Squad. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's exactly. pretty much what I'm visualizing. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's exactly what I'm visualizing. Yeah. So what you guys see from the outside is this this creature as it's emerged from the water. It seemed terrifying, but it maybe was just trying to escape, it seems, as <clears throat> its eye becomes milky and suddenly explodes with blood and guts as it falls apart into other fishy bits. That all can I like transform back into a to, into my normal form as like all the bits just dissipate from me and I'm just sitting there floating? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> like in my normal form, covered in blood or something. You see bits of coral fall off and fall to the bottom of the ocean. You see octopus like f flap away, other sharks and fish that were attached to it. Uh, but most importantly, you see the lights that were flying <laughs> around it. Uh, start to dissipate, but they flow northwards towards uh, towards Placid Island. Something fishy's happening. And that is the mm. end of combat. I'm just gonna like, just swim in the water, just like gobsmacked for a minute, just like... Just swimming. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> I put my spiritual weapon back into into me, and then uh, seeing Randis fly up, I'm gonna. Excuse me. I'm gonna fly. No worries. I'm gonna fly up. Um. After a while. Right, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna start swimming up. Are you a good swimmer? Do you need help? I can. I just imagine like Randis being like terrible. So I'm just panicking. I yeah, I don't think Rannis has ever swam in his life. Actually, I help him. <laughs> uh, maybe he did like a little bit of swimming in his youth when he was going on mm. adventuring, but uh, he was not good at it. Yeah, I shall. I shall help. <laughs> yeah, you just see me like, like being exposed in the middle of this like this the corpse of fish, and then I just like, oh, yeah, like start panicking. <laughs> He, he struggle. 
Oh. Uh, on, on on the ship with uh, with Tantrum and Quinlan. Quinlan turns to you, Tantrum, and is like, "All right, I guess we should be picking up your friends over there, eh?" Tantrum is asleep. <laughs> just, <laughs> <laughs> I suppose. Uh, and the ship kind of pulls up beside where you two are, and uh, they ex- we ex- they extend the ladder down pretty much to let you guys up onto it. All right, I climb up. Sorry, I'm, I'm just finishing up this quick sketch I made. All right. Okay, I'll just pull you all over here now. Oh, shit. What happened? All right, I saw a, black, was... a black down there for a little bit. What happened? Oh, you missed quite the fight there. There was a, uh, a mighty j- shark serpent in the water, and... It became a tentacle monster. There was a crocodile at one point. I don't know what happened to it. Crocodile. <laughs> That's Our... wild, man. Now we should uh, sail around and get the rest of these stragglers. They're good swimmers. Yeah. I think they could do it. They weren't meant to do you get know, down do so you far. Do you know what swimmer looks like? I just ask for Uh, well, I assume it looks like something that looks like they could swim, like these guys. He's right. Uh. All right, and at, at, like pretty much for the rest of the like the next few hours, you guys are just sailing around. Uh, I'll just bring you out to this one. Actually, you guys are just sailing around, collecting all these people up. Uh, they seem pretty fucked up. Like a few of them, especially the ones on this uh, on this dock, especially are like traumatized after witnessing some of their friends get like just pulled into the creature. Mm. Uh, but eventually, uh, as the the day finishes up, uh, uh, you all pull back into shore at Amity Beach. Are you sure? Don't even with that guy. <laughs> hey, he's a national treasure. Uh huh. He sure it's is. Something. Didn't bring the baby. He's a national treasure to me. Hold up, just fixing all this up. Man, I was expecting a kaiju fight, but god damn, that was a that was a hell of a kaiju oh, fight. You're right there with the Fuego. Alright, as you just see me float directly into the eyeball. I I, I imagine Fu- like Fuego is like almost glazed. Like his eyes aren't like he's not fully focused right now when like What's up Fuego? What's wrong? I don't know. Huh? Something. Just just thinking. I'm like covered in guts and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It'd be that way. <laughs> yeah, so all of you pull up to the dock and Quinlan comes up to all of you. Thank you so much for your help. The uh, We've been having a lot of troubles around here lately and I would attribute them probably to that beastie. Uh, no problem, boss. Well, you know, you might want to warn the, the, the swimmers next time if there's, like, trouble in the water. Because I was quite, pretty fucking uh, uh, ignorant of you to just let them swim around, especially with this number of people. Like, right, how many people died already? It's not... I've been trying to shut the beach down for a while now. It's one of the hot spots of Roro. They won't let me take it down. Have you ever tried, like, yelling that there's a shark or something in the water? Have you... Look at how dumb these people are. Have you ever tried telling them anything? Bro, they're not dumb. Oh, I'm they've infected you. Yeah, um, I'm just they've... kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. The bro disease has infected you, too. Uh, you just see my face slowly morph into, like, Johnny Bravo. <laughs> yeah, <I'm sorry. laughs> bro. Bro. Uh, while this is happening, also, Kian runs up to you guys uh, from the dock and says, you, Here. you ran off so fast, I wasn't even able to get on the boat. Oh, ah. sorry. And where were you, Hevik? I was saving the day. You know, something that uh, heroes do as I walk around covered in fish guts and smelling awful right now. Well, I sure would have <laughs> been. I sure would have loved to have written about it or, or something. Oh, I think I could remember as I try to try like <laughs> panic to, to like remember what just happened. <laughs> I create water to like just like clean him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I was like, he's like trying to like just do his business. Oh, I can, I can recount what happened. If I'm being honest, I do not remember 
anything. I remember transforming into a crocodile. I remember fighting a shark vaguely. Uh, and then there's a giant eyeball, and that's all I remember. Arr, they're not doing it justice. We beat the Amity Beach Horror. And when he says that, Tien literally, like, lights up, saying, like, Whoa, like, the Amity Beach Horror? If I'm being honest, I almost did it single-handedly. I just turned to you. Fuego here Excuse was me. a big help, though. <laughs> in the end, in the end. Rannis, Rannis, I mean, not Rannis, sorry, Tantrum also helped, I'll have you know. Tantrum shot a cannonball once. I did, I did. That, that, that was a big help. That uh, is you, fascinating, and I would love to actually have that recounted for the for the Historia Tempest manuscripts. I'd love to have that information. Who took it out? How, how, how they? All I remember is is coming to, and we were surrounded by fish. Guts, fish guts, I should say. That's when you're when you're a, when you're a child like that, Kaz. You get your toys taken away. <laughs> 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 I feel like a good lead, like, oh. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. What no no one you? saw that, no one saw that, but, like, uh, Kaz, like, because I had the thing, I had the monster, like, up here away in, in the high, like, the top oh, left corner. Yeah. So, like, I just see it come out into the, the water, and I immediately just delete it. <laughs> like, I'm like, nope, <laughs> I know that's you, Kaz. Hey, Sam, can I also get a, uh, that Eldritch uh, creature water. image sent to I me? will do that ASAP. Actually, and I will finish up the colors on this. It's okay. just a sketch right now. I will send that to you right now, actually. That's water rocking is what that box is. <laughs> That's me simulating the water rocking it. I would take Kaz's mod privileges away or whatever on this, but then I need his help. <laughs> <laughs> I need him. I need him. I was He's literally, I know. He's too dangerous to be kept alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too weak. I need GM mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. <laughs> Yo, do I not have this token saved? Because I might actually be so mad at myself. You got it, like, that's... How did you upload it, then? Well, it's somewhere. It's just not here. Hold up. Hold that's alright. Hold sure. up. No, no, I got this. I got this. Search for the Amity Beach. How do I... How do I... Why can't I open this? <clears throat> I'll upload the sketch though. Upload the sketch and I'll put it onto the roll twenty thing. You. Yeah. I want to show it's people. Fan art. If we can, yeah, if the fan art literally being created mid episode. Yeah, I mean that's that's a vibe. I got I got mad inspiration from that. So I was, I was like, I, I gotta do this. I'm sending you the, this in the most ghetto way, and it's being shown on stream how I'm doing this. But no, yeah, I got it. It's so funny to me. People are going to be like, he still uses Gaiazo? Yes, I do. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> it was like literally on stream that I just was like, man, fuck. Fuck it. Bro! <sighs> Alright, let me send to Asia. Sent it. Yeah, I sent it. Don't, I sent it. Don't worry. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you did? Where, did, where is it? Where is it? It's just in Terraform Territory Rural. Yeah. Oh, you did it! It's very simple, but it's really cool. Yeah. Wait, where? I'm, I'm gonna do a lot, lot. I'm gonna do the colors uh, around it to make it much more menacing. This is just a flat sketch. Oh, is it not actually like in here yet, or like? Oh, um, I'll, I'll add it now. Okay, okay. You, yeah, you add it. You add it. This is our like little. Oh, I want to finish this one part. though. I know it'll look way different than this. Probably my sketches usually end up not looking at all what the finished product is. I do a lot of tweakings. Never, mm. ever. Hey, Mc McBluff, I also gotta know. I got. I know this was like a little bit ago. When you say just stellar naming all around tonight, I gotta know. Like, what? What was the name that triggered that comment? I did it by the way, Sam. Yes, look at that, folks. That is awesome. Mm. Holy shit! Look at me. Yeah, look up. Uh, look up for reference to this. For sure, would be the Ajara cinematic from World of Warcraft. I can't remember what it's called. But like her, her conversation with a certain Eldritch God is like honestly super inspirational for any kind of Eldritch God interaction. 
Like, that is some good WoW, WoW cinema right there. But yeah, look at how awesome that is, folks. Anyway, uh, now we're here on the beach. Beach. Uh, there are people, like, getting off the off of the boat still, like, stragglers from the event, and while, like, they seem a little shaken up, uh, they get off the boat and immediately go back into the crowds and just have a party again. They just have an immediate, uh, an immediate blast. What is this clip by? What's happened? Ah. Oh. <laughs> I need... Oh, okay, I love it, I love it. It's me being a needy bitch, but I love it. It's okay, Sam. I'm glad you're needy. It means I need you. But no. I've always wanted to be needed. Uh, Qu Quinlan turns to you guys pretty much though, and is like, "Or I, I wish I could give you something, but I don't have much to give. Just my thanks, honestly." Let's give him a nod and a little buyer. Kian uh, approaches you asking, well, this was, I would say why I came here. There was a crazy accounted monster, the, and I, that would say that the Amity Beach horror would count as that, so. Where are you guys off to then? Where to next? Wherever the road takes us. We're going to ignore these idiots. Okay, we're, we're heading to uh, Outsmouth Manor. Oh we're yes, you, you've you've told me you want to head there sooner so, as soon as possible. Then, yes, please. Well, that's what these notes say. So yeah, we're going on a trip in our favorite rock. Uh, I was thinking that too, Connor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, unless you'd like to spend some more time here at the beach, then I'd say yeah. we'd be on our way. Tell everybody I'm on my way. Don't sue us, Disney. Let's go. <laughs> uh, you all walk off back towards Nilbog's Hob. Quinlan uh, waves you all down, and the sounds of bros are heard uh, over the uh, over the air as you leave. Bro, 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 and hold bro. on. Let me just. I'm out of here. I'm just going to bring you guys to the map in general. Oh, nope. The music right now is very nice. Very nice music. Oh, I didn't even fucking reveal this part earlier. Oopsies. Now you guys have been here. Oopsie poopsies. Uh oh, spaghetti -o. Now you guys have been to the Amity Beach Swamp. Or the Amity, Amity Beach. I don't know why I added swamp at the end there. That could be both. But yeah, uh, that's where we're going to end today's session, I think. I think that's a super, super spot to end it. I think that was nice. pretty great. It was pretty good. Hell yeah. Thank you guys for playing, as always. It's always a, a blast with you guys. Thank you for Very DMing, fun. my yes. friend. Thank my always love. my pleasure. Thank I would never for, not. Yeah. It, it was a blast, though. Right. We are gonna look for somebody to raid. You want me to have a look? Pardon me. Anyone, you... anyone you see, or do you want me to have a look? I'm gonna take a look for a second, but I'll, uh, if you see anybody nice. that you want to do, I will be let's happy to. Let's see. We got. Let's do one. Let's do from least amount of views. All right. Let's just go to someone with no views right now. I don't know how that's possible. Uh, Tales of, from Pandora. Astra number 40. Uh, oh, Pandora yeah. D&D. Uh, can you send that to me? There's someone talking about spell jam. There's someone talking about spell jammer as well. If you want to go there. Orion Strider. Oh yeah, okay. Spell jammer. Oh, I'm sure, going to be yeah. doing a spell jammer in the future too. Probably oh, streaming it. Oh, we're streaming that one? Okay, yeah. Hell yeah. If you guys want to, because that'll be my next campaign oh. after this current campaign. Or after, like, after my current campaign, which is not being streamed, ends. <laughs> Here's the command Sam, I'll send it to you. 
I'm gonna pop off for a bit since I need to go do something. Thank you so much for stopping so by. I guess by, the Spelljammer will be like a continuation of my current campaign. Yeah, just thank you. In the future. Yeah. yeah raid yeah, Orion yeah, Strider. I've got the raid message in there already for all of you. Perfect. Let me get it down. <clears throat> also, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, uh, Mark Bye. Um, other than that, uh, other news is um, the McClunky stickers are what hopefully going to be done next week. Um, I've got to make the AJ Connor, AJ and Connor uh, portrait stickers and then do all the line and color those in. But hopefully those will be ready by next week. I've had to uh, take a little quick hiatus from all my other, or put all my other work on hold because I had some urgent work that needed to be finished today. So... <laughs> Yeah, that should be going starting soon. Yeah, there were some awesome stickers that we made. Honestly, like the batch, I mm -hmm. I cannot wait to order some myself. They looked amazing. Uh, some other things I'd say, like go check out the YouTube channel for McClunky Squadron. We have got the discussion videos up there, like the Moon Knight stuff. Uh, we upload the Terrifying Territories Roro's, Roro streams there too. Uh, mm -hmm. We are uploading clips onto there now as well. Uh, on that note, too, we actually just started a TikTok. Yes, uh, you can follow us at McClunky Squadron uh, on TikTok. Now we upload the clips that you've seen probably from here as well on Twitch, but now that they're in the better format for better viewing, we're doing pretty well on there. So uh, everything counts. We really appreciate every one of you supporting us. So hell yeah. yeah. So let's raid into Orion Strider. Yep. Here's the TikTok, by the way, if you want to grab that. And I'll get the McClunky YouTube as well. Hell yeah, thanks so much, Kaz. Okay. And, uh, the the hell's this music, Sam? Yeah, this is like the, the weird part of the creepy music, where it gets all, like, toy music-y. Oh, Yep, there's all this YouTube and there's the TikTok and there's our raid message. Alright. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week with more terrifying territories of Roro. Bye. McClunky. 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 AJ. McClunky, I said it. Oh, I didn't we didn't hear you. Or I didn't hear you.